Welcome to Constructed Chaos, where we run our D&D live stream every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I cannot wait to get started tonight. I already see our friends uh, Grim Reefer and Tabletop Beard in the chat. Uh, so I'll kick things off with our, our good pals, Tabletop Beard. They have sponsored yet another stream with their Barbarian Beard Oil and beer butter you can have the matching oh. set uh and i actually just finished a really cool advertisement for them it's that i want to really show you good. guys yeah it, <laughs> it took me a while to make but i really really like it so uh have fun enjoy there are no rules but having the beard of a barbarian usually helps so can moisturize your raging mane in the blood orange and bergamot of your enemies and watch as they cower in awe of your might Dude, what the- The matching beard butter is also great for holding your hair in place as you grind bones to dust with your axe. Unleash your inner TTRPG character and finish the fight with Tabletop Beard today. Oh, Welcome back, man, that friends. Was beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> that was really so, good. Uh, if you guys didn't see from the ad, you can use code CHAOS20 at checkout over at Tabletop Beard's website in the description to get 20% off of your order. Uh, and you should definitely have some uh, have some have some fun with the beard oil. Just like we're gonna have some fun tonight. Grim Reefer has already kicked things off with five gifted memberships. Thank Ooh. you so much for the support, friend. You are awesome. I love I love uh, I love that you you always get things hype right off right off the bat. You know how to you know how to make me happy. Um, we are uh, sadly going to be missing uh, our good friend Angel tonight over at no. Darkboard, but you can check them uh, out on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. He had to go back uh, across state lines uh, with his with his main group, but we'll, we'll do some crossover again soon and hopefully have him back sometime. Until we steal him away. Um, all that said... I do have one more surprise for you all. Ooh. Uh, stay tuned for a little giveaway that we're going to be doing halfway through the stream. Uh, we'll What's open that? the uh, the raffle over our break, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, see who wins. Ooh. Um, oh, this is this is the first of many. I don't want to give away too too much. Uh, we well, I do want to give this. away much. Yeah, but I don't want to give away the secret of what it's going to be. So you'll just have to wait and see. Uh, that said, I think we're uh, just about ready to go ahead and. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Yes. <laughs> what is that? The destitute corridor slips into silence once again. Upon Kishtari's astral exit, your attention draws to the damp air that clings to your skin like an invisible web. With every move, you feel the touch of a phantom as the condensation drips. Reprieve of the eerie chill only comes from your belief that the worst is behind. But the weaver's contemplative expression implies their stoic conviction. Though you have won the day, night still looms on the horizon. Your now fleeting taste of victory has only served to flush out the evil below Innocent, so that it may walk upon the surface. Welcome hey. back, everyone. Hey. Um, now that chat has seen the intro and all of you have seen the intro. Allegedly. We, <laughs> allegedly, we rejoin uh, the five of you because Liam is still there. Um, hey, he as, lived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you guys were going to kill him and then you, you didn't no. let him die. No, either. best no. friends forever. <laughs> uh, we rejoin the five of you. Uh, within the tower uh, below Innocent as you ascend the spiral staircase having just said goodbye to Kish what is everyone doing? Taking stock yeah, I'm probably still flipping through Elwyn's book. Sam and I are keeping inventory over here <laughs> <laughs> uh, across the haphazard uh, steps that are maybe like a, <laughs> yeah. a, a, a kind of crumbling beneath your feet a little bit you, you just sort of lay out all your gear and you start <laughs> counting <laughs> figuring out where Everything should go. What pockets fit what? I can't attune to anything else. <laughs> you take this. <laughs> That's what's happening right this now. This is too much. <laughs> um, I'm not carrying capacity. I'm probably deep in thought at this point, trying to kind of figure out the puzzle pieces of kind of what just happened, everything that we know so far, and 
Yeah, I think okay. Drazad would be very deep in thought as he walked up the stairs. So is the king the bad guy? No, I don't think so. I think he, he's being controlled. We think by, by who? We just so killed the controller. Him. No, we, so we think the body is like, it's a shell and something was put in the body. But we thought we thought this necromancer was the puppet. No, like. I we I so Drazad's new theory is that the necromancer, the wizard guy, mm -hmm. was um like he helped summon <laughs> like a friend of his potentially or somebody he knew from the past or like a greater power and put it into Tilly with Tilly. Oh, Tilly. Tilly with. Yeah. Yep. We're intimate now. We can call him Tilly. I do not know. Not that. It's fine. Not, not that kind of intimate. Hey, hey, shut up. <laughs> We've been acquainted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Ooh. What you got over there? Ooh. What is this? Oh, That's the, the big one. notes. That's the one we got More from last notes. session. I don't know if you have a copy of it or not. <laughs> I brought it down because I saw it that in my car. That is like notes. Mm. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> gross. gross. Um, no, I believe he was putting something. He was trying to reawaken something. There was some power he wanted. He um, looked pretty awake to me. Yes, and he was using Tillywith for that. Oh. Yes. But was it? So you still think? I guess it was worth it to die for. It might even be Dekarn. Who's that? The the of the mist. The statue that we saw. Oh, so you. I'm not 100 percent sure, but he said um, his last note that he has in his spell book here is, um, "I will call forth Dekarin with or without his damned stick." Um, not the damned the stick. fact that the staff had a thread, and Tillywith had a new thread, and the staff was originally Dekarin's before it was Valifar's, before it was wherever. It originated with Dekarin. I, I, I turn and look at Liam. Liam, do you still see a thread anywhere? Like, No, as I said before, uh, there is no longer a thread over your friend. No, no, no. The thread from Tilly and the staff. Now it's weed together, and now it's a huge black thread. It's hard to tell from a, a distance, but I think probably it's <laughs> still there. If I were to follow a thread that I might see in the sky after we left, Wait, I could... It would lead me to him, I'm sure. I think we need to go up. We need to get to the surface. We gotta get so the this, fuck out of here. Well, so this man can see. Point us in the right direction. Are you talking about Liam? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the threads. yeah. Whether they're true or not, they do. Um, I mean, hey, provide a good bearing of where to they go. They at least give us a direction. Yeah. Are we gonna join them? If our goals align, <laughs> yeah. I think it's only like natural. The, the, the uh, guy who tried I, to kill I, the fucking king? I told you oh, no he, lies. He killed. He, well, uh, yeah, he, I guess he, he, he did, I yeah. guess. Did you kill him? No. I've been nothing but truthful to you, you since have. we've met. You've been a great friend. Okay, so these are right, we the, are great friends. The truth can still be warped <laughs> depending on your perception of reality. I think my perception of reality is fine. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't click on the back. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> At the very least, um, if you see to it that I leave this city with my life, I will return to my homeland and tell them of what I have experienced here. The fact that uh, this one no longer bears the black thread and that you all... Go ask them about me because I had a thread too that went away. You were wielding a spear. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like you were wielding the staff, I was. Cursed objects do not make the person bad, and y'all need to understand that. The weavers need to understand that. You need to get back to them to let them know. Because this is something I already understand quite well. It's not that we don't well, know. Killing, killing the person isn't going to remove the threat, and yet it does. <laughs> it is the only way that we have seen to resolve oh, the issue with the proper amount of expedience. Things are spiraling out of control. Perhaps you don't understand it. Perhaps you need to lay eyes on it. I invite you to the Eclipsia. Come to see. Come to see the threads that have balled themselves into a ball of black yarn. Or we, not. We do plan it, to make it, it there, would, but... It would take us, like, months to get there. We were planning to go to Mistkeep first. Dekarin is of the mist. And Elwind, I believe, was from there as well. We can change those plans, though, if you did want you, us to go somewhere Did you share different. all that with him? 
He's got. I don't know if I shared it with all y'all. No, you did last. Just give us an inclination. Did you share with? Do you want the weavers to have? Oh, I just did. Okay. Whatever. Whatever your travels take you is fine by me, but it seems that we are aligned in this at least somewhat. Please allow me to bring word of your heroics to my people. Can I can I insight I know he said it a little while ago but like insight check like whether he actually doesn't want to kill me anymore or not Sure <laughs> Dravian coming in with the 20 uh time for action and time for fun chaos crew time has begun <laughs> Let us Love watch it. together and see what can be done. Oh, yeah. Love, yeah. Good <laughs> rhyme. Love the rhyme. Uh, I'm going to give you some extra uh, Whoa. <laughs> points oh. just for that. We also thank got a you, D4 Travian. in there from Havoc, so thank you for that. Havoc. Thank you, Havoc. Havoc. I think it's a good two. to see you, friend. So we go back to Aratheos is what I'm hearing. Um, I rolled a I rolled a 19 <laughs> on my stop. inside check. Mabel. Miss ma'am, come here. Somebody, somebody has opinions tonight. Ooh, come here. So she started barking, I looked in, she was making direct eye contact with me. Like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> what you gonna what do? You gonna do? Uh, what was... 19. 19. In my insight. Um, he wants to see he's, uh, I mean, of anyone you've met on this adventure, he seems relatively easy to read. He is not hidden a single thing from you. Yeah, I mean, he was pretty honest when I still had the thread. He's like, I mean, you're a friend for now, and now he's like, nah, you good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but I just well, want to be so sure was, before I'm like, yeah, well, you're an ally now. <laughs> well, so was uh, who was uh, oh, Tristan. 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 Yeah. yeah. He was the same way. He well, he like, didn't tell you that you had a thread. Yes, he, he told did me. Have... He told me that you had a thread. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then after it was gone, he's like, Nah, you're actually good now. I want to let you know now. I was gonna kill you, but now you're good. <laughs> he's like, Nah, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Meh. <laughs> but yeah. Well, then, uh, it is agreed. Once we leave the city, we will go our separate ways, but uh, perhaps we can help each other in the future. We gotta get up to the surface first. Yes, this is key. Uh, shall we continue, then? Yeah. And let us hope nobody is waiting for us. <laughs> uh, you all continue I mean, to ascend the spiraling corridor. Nope. Careful not to dislodge. No king, no wizard. Like, <laughs> like, who's waiting for us? Careful not to dislodge any loose ma uh, masonry that might send you into a tumble. Yet, even with your mind focused to the task, your thoughts drift to recent memory where you encountered a very similar structure within the borders of Zealous and Alcazir. Eventually, the winding staircase levels into a slim hallway that continues forward into darkness, where both the mist and the candlelight begins to dwindle. Do you continue? Do you're the only one that can't see, right? In dark. And he's got his thing that he's light right there. Yeah. Yeah. Liam can't see either. Uh, Liam's an elf. He can see. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> Get riggedy rat, <laughs> sir. Stupid. Turn Lightbringer on. Why does this one keep bumping into me? I am a descendant of a damn dragon. <laughs> but your patron's not a dragon, we established. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll continue leading the way. Okay. Uh, what is the marching order, by the way? I know Odd said he's in front. I'd probably be last. I'll okay. be behind Odd. I Since can, this one can't see. I'll be behind Floor in the middle, like holding Lightbringer up. Okay. And then I'll, Liam will be in front of you. Bella? I guess. Okay. I'm I'm looking through the book, so I just figured he'd be trailing behind while he's Um Odd. As you step through the slim corridor, you round a corner and see uh an open room in front of you. Um it's <laughs> much more expansive than this slim hallway that has you all walking in single file. Uh, make a perception check for me to see how much you can see within. You better throw a rock in there. <laughs> uh, perception is a 14. Okay. With your 14, uh, what you can see of the room appears empty. Uh, it's a large rectangular room uh, that extends all the way to the back. Uh, from your vantage, the only areas you wouldn't be able to see are like the two corners uh, to your right and left. Um, and 
it appears to be lit uh, solely by a uh, uh, large uh, stained glass, circular stained glass window on the far side that is just above uh, a large set of marble steps leading upwards. Oh. <clears throat> like a church? Looks churchy. Yeah. Looks churchy. Like we're walking up to like the... the I forgot what they call it. The, the, the altar? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, From this vantage, it actually would look like you're standing upon the altar. Or like this passage lets out at the altar. Okay. Uh, are you continuing forward? Okay. Seeing like... Is there light outside the window? Uh, there is some. And as you step through the threshold of this room, um, you can see it in a bit more detail uh, the visages of regal monarchs that line the lavish walls in stone form, lording over a velvet walkway extending from a wide set of mar- marble steps on the far side. Uh, and yet, as you turn to glance back at the corridor you came from, as your friends now enter with you, you find that it has van- vanished, replaced by yet another unyielding noble statue. As everybody finishes coming through, uh, I'll go back to the statue and kind of like put my hand. Is a is it corporeal or is it illusion? Uh, it's corporeal. Uh, as you place a hand upon it, it, it is solid. You can feel it. Do we recognize the statue? Uh, make a history check for me. As Valoth comes in, I, I put my hand on his shoulder. I'm like, hey, turn around. <laughs> It's like you just walked through that statue. <laughs> oh, 10. What, what's going on? <laughs> you would guess that this was a monarch of some uh, stature. Probably a past monarch of Imesford, but you're not sure exactly who. Yeah. Uh, in, in recent memory and, and most lifespans tell you it has been the monarch. So, I just read about a grievant or grovant. grovant. And doing anything? I'll say maybe before then. I'll, I'll have you also make a history check, but you can make it with advantage because you have read through some of those notes. And oh, I was like, what? Nat twenty oh, for a oh, twenty-five. By the way, yeah. we oh. still have a nat twenty to take. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. Nat twenty. I forgot in the about chat. that. We didn't forget. You guys were rolling hot dice yeah. last time. Um, so you know instantly. Um, by the look of it and also the fact that there is writing scribbled at the bottom of the statue <laughs> on a plaque uh, that this is a statue of King Gravent Highcrest. He lived from uh, 322 of the Divine Era to 384, literally the turning of the era. Uh, he's the king that wrought what was uh, sown through the Divine Era in, in war against Zealous uh, and he defended his people and Inneset until the last breath when the tower fell at the turning of the era. This is where he was. Or rather, he was in the tower, basically. This was um, Tillowith's father. He was also um, guided by a wind. This is the king that was the king during our last campaign. Correct. Okay. For most of it. That's yeah. why I knew the name. I just didn't remember. Yeah. Okay. He was the king until literally like the last half of the last session. Yeah. Well, I guess it would have been more than that, but yeah. He, he got murdered or he died? Well, he, he died. Fell, I mean, yeah. the whole city got That's right, because we like, blew everything up. Super we didn't do that. It got sucked into the earth and the... Nope. Wow. Nope. Mm. When you guys this, didn't when, even know about this, actually. Okay, yeah. then that makes sense. Is why that, I'm that, confused. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. We, essentially, we know of the tower, but yeah. yeah. Essentially, whenever you guys uh, in the previous adventure uh, headed to Benara um, and and defeated the tieflings on uh, Vidnica when that island fell, uh, the rest of the tieflings and Zealous uh, took aim at Imesford and uh, launched basically a, a okay. counterattack. And where we are right now is where? Where the tower used to be. Uh, so currently you appear it? to be s- still... Uh, you might be ground level, you're not sure, but there are stairs leading up and there's there's very... The last rays, uh, very dim sunlight coming through the stained glass window on the far side of this 
room. So this this would presumably be like a secret entrance that Elwyn might have used to get down here. You would you would hazard a guess. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna begin ritual casting to detect magic and put the book away. Okay. Now that now that I'm like, oh, we're 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 encountering some magic. I should probably be <laughs> <laughs> be a bit more aware. Uh, okay. You take some time to cast detect magic. What is everyone else doing? Anything at all? I am still not quite understanding where the fuck we are. Okay, so you guys went through the Radiant Pyre, which is in front of the castle in Innocent, down into uh, the depths of this uh, uh, old civilization. Radiant Pyre, we saw... That's where all the names... Mm-hmm. Yep. The That's big the ball, ball of light. Fire, and we went in, and then we mm-hmm. went down, so we were like underground. Yeah. And that's and then, where we still are? Well, you were underground. You went and found the altar where you fought Elwind. And then you started ascending a tower. And so, stands to reason, you might be, like, underneath the castle or near the castle. Okay, You're definitely we still in Innocent. We, yeah, we walked for, like, hours so in that bog with Nurgle. So, it's like it's hard to tell exactly where we're I coming up under. <laughs> are we Nurgast, Nurgast, are we but it's okay. <laughs> under? <laughs> so, <sorry>. Nurgle! <laughs> Nurgle! <laughs> Will we be able to, like, ascertain, like, we went down here and walked this direction this far. And now we are coming up in a certain part of the city. Make a survival check. Okay. Uh, I will tell you that you need an at twenty to to glean this because you were wandering through mists, through winding tunnels. No. no. Yeah. You you imagine you're probably still in in a set, uh, but it's just hard to know without getting eyes on your gotcha. surroundings. You definitely got turned around a good bit. Mm-hmm. Um, with but that, it's late in the day, you said, right? It appears to be, just from the light through that stained glass window. Uh, as it is with stained glass, you can't get the exact uh, uh, yeah. descript look of the yeah. sky outside, but you can see how much light is coming break through. Break the window. No. <laughs> <laughs> I throw a stone through out. the window. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Do, we, uh, do, do, do you really want to know where we are in relation to where we were? I don't know if it's super important. Okay. It's just I would rather not come up under like the guards barracks or whatever. That probability would suck. Yes, that that, <laughs> that, that would be the one area that, that I think would, would be, be bad like to come up in. A I one. would also prefer not to be put in that situation. And on that note, uh, what is the plan for when we leave here? The guards were distracted when we came in. Uh, but I feel perhaps I should on some disguise do you does any of you have uh, capability of, of doing this I think odd might um I think it's all like self like he has like disguise self yeah, and stuff I like don't that I don't know and I have disguise. alter self I don't have anything we could be sneaky I have silent image sneaky. <laughs> I could silent image him right I can move that <clears throat> not sure uh but I can not- move it within any spot in within range can you minor illusions okay. or something Silent, I mean, silent image, I think would be better. Huge. Better. It's a fifteen by fifteen foot cube. Mm. I mean, are we trying to be sneaky or what does? Because we could all fit in the silent image and just make it like there's nothing there. Well, I can, I can teleport. Oh. I can make us super sneaky. Look, I can tell you that your faces are not known here, I would imagine, but mine certainly is. Oh, you have a disguise kit. Oh, that you have a disguise kit. You can oh, use that on someone else. That is fair. Yeah. Can you disguise uh, Liam? Oh yeah. What do you want to look like? <laughs> <laughs> Dealer's choice. Why? What are we trying to describe? Make him look like he's a wanted here because he killed the king. Oh, hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe the ears, not so much, and um. No. Absolutely why, why not? not. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not. not? There's only room enough for one dragonborn in this party, and that is Drizad. What if we make him look exactly like you? No. We do not need to make him look exactly like Jazza. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but now we can just say that you have a twin. The disgrace. Make Ooh. a make Liz- a performance Liz- check. Yeah. <laughs> like lizard. Slazard. And Drizzard. Ooh, Ooh, Nineteen on the dot. Okay. I am not Plus you're like lizard. seventeen. Plus 11, yeah. 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 I mean, with Ooh. a disguise kit, it can be challenging to do like full body like scales. 30. But you take uh, your time. Thirty. 
you take your time with it, and uh, I mean, he is he is really really awesome. someone interesting. Do you have any, do you have any port rolls left? Left? I'm, like, no, port, I'm looking away. I'm They're looking at both gone. of them. I'm like, which one's the real he, Drizzt? He looks me. like it is me. He looks like a bearded Drizzt. Like you can't really hide the beard. <laughs> But like the the scales in Dragonborn skin descend into that beard so perfectly that it looks effortless. So it's like Drizzt's evil twin. Oh boy! <laughs> you know, like why'd you use I'm that, that word because evil twin? Truly a beautiful <laughs> work of art. I, I evil am, twins usually have yeah, a mustache. You inspired me. Why are you not? I mean, why that would you be mad? Why would you copy such a magnificent creature in the first place? It is. It, don't worry, Jazan. Uh-huh. I don't. I don't have dragon's breath. You know they do right say now. that that would be rude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if this were RuPaul's drag, ra- drag Race, you would win the Family Resemblance competition. This mm-hmm. this truly is. I'll take your word. Mockery for it. is <laughs> truly the sincerest form of flattery. So I will. I will. You know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, is it mockery? I don't think that's or... what they say. You know, it, something Jizan. like that. <laughs> I don't think that's what they that phrase is. No, no. Imitation yeah. is it imitation is. is the highest form of mockery. Is just imitation mockery. is the highest form of mockery. Correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> which is also <laughs> flattery, <laughs> apparently. He did get it wrong. Here. Yeah, no, yeah, it's definitely imitation. <laughs> yeah, no, right. no, yeah. You're so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The phrase is imitation is the highest form no, of flattery. No, but I've heard mockery is the sincerest form of flattery, but I don't know what's probably that from, someone though. making probably, like a yeah. play on words or something. Damn. I don't know. I haven't heard that. Anyway, it sounds like a Michael Scott cut quote. this restart. Yeah. So, <laughs> live stream. Um, <laughs> as uh, he completes this disguise, your detect magic is is also completed, um, and. You do detect magic specifically from the corridor that uh, you came from. Uh, this would be illusion magic, but very, very powerful illusion magic. Magic, and your eyes specifically are drawn to almost um, imperceivable umbric symbols that are uh, hidden within, like the the cracks of stone uh, stonework and masonry. Mm. Also, Elwyn was possible. able. Can I tell by the age? I mean, it'd be hard because Elwyn's really old. Like, are they like They're ancient really Umbric symbols or are they just like old Umbric? Like, like basically, did Elwyn do it or was it the, um, I already forgot his name. Uh, the guy of the Dekarin. best. Dekarin. Dekarin. Or was it like Dekarin's time? I would say, uh, just by glancing across the stonework, uh, make one more history check for me. Not 20. Low DC. Not 20. Not 20. <laughs> mm, <no. laughs> so previously when I rolled with advantage, I rolled a five and a twenty and the five just popped back up. So that's <laughs> oh, no. so that's a ten total. Okay, that's enough. You can tell that this isn't thousands of years old. Um the stonework isn't even that old. It appears okay. to be oh, yeah. hundreds, maybe. So definitely Elwin's time. hmm So I, he was able to invoke Umber Grunes then. Yes. Eighth. Good thing he's dead. He's not even the bad guy now. No, but um, now we don't have to deal with two people who can invoke Umbric runes. But who else can? Right. Uh, wh- whoever's embodying Tillywood's body, for sure. And if it is Dekarin, Dekarin put those runes on the staff, presumably. So I think you're really underplaying the fact that they took an ancient, very powerful ruin you know, ruined magician and tr- brought him back to life and put him in the body of somebody. I'm not underplaying it. I'm, I'm the one who, who suggested it. But <laughs> they could... But you act like it's why, so casual. Why couldn't it, you know, it's yeah, they could do it again. Like, oh, yeah, they do that every what now and then. What do you mean they then, could do it know? again? Well, with Elwin? Well, well that, El- Elwin wanted Dekarn back. I don't know why Dekarn would want Elwin back. Elwin wanted no, Dekarn because no. Dekarn's more powerful than what Elwin. If, what if they... Dekarn wouldn't want Elwin. And Valor starts going off and it's like, <laughs> yeah. hey, why would he want Elwin back? Elwin's I'm not weak. Talking about, I'm not talking about Elwin. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm saying, like, what if Dekarn... De- Dekarn. De- what if Dekarn is not... The big bad? Well, the m- most powerful person. Like, if it's just a series of dominoes knocking over bigger dominoes what is he going to do with the wares uh what is he going to do with the wares he might be looking to augment his own power i mean it's it's 
as odd as wears, you see Drizod suspiciously like looking for somebody yeah, else no. to <laughs> with around. It, it, it was it was mentioned in in the journals um, that Dekarn was exiled from his people. Um, so I don't I don't know if there's many people that um, would have. So Elwyn left and found out that Dekarn had also been exiled and had a similar power. I don't know if there was a Dekarn like person for Dekarin's exile. I don't I don't mm. know that, that we would have to find some kind of evidence of that. But there is none. So I, to me it's it's he's augmenting his own power rather than trying to bring something even worse back. And I, I really don't know which is worse, bringing something more powerful back or becoming the more powerful thing yourself. Mm. That's deep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I I would I would hate to fight either. But I think I, I think the big thing too though is like they're not they're not doing they're not good doing good works with the wares right no no definitely not. and then, yeah. then val is going to turn to drizod uh thinking he's talking to liam <laughs> 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 and he's gonna he's gonna say when you see the threads um can you tell which one would go to elwin I'm, I'm here it's me yes oh, oh yes, yes so drizod sorry. can the, tell which the bees can go there. <laughs> yes <laughs> Can you tell which one would go to um, Elwyn's friend that he brought back? Not necessarily. We follow the threads uh, as they are seen in the sky, and uh, we see who they lead to. So the the obsidian, the staff, and that person wouldn't constitute maybe multiple threads? And that would be a tell? No, the threads are tied to a, a person. They are not... They are physically uh, tied to a person. I don't know if we're going to be able to find him uh, with the threads. I mean, how many threads are out there on a on a day to day? Quite a few. Black threads specifically keep popping up. It's hard to say how many may be there now, but uh, when I arrived here, I'm somewhere in the ballpark of twenty, twenty-five. Whoa! Do you believe your your deity might be able to better pinpoint specific threads? I believe if I were to speak with the oracle, they might be able to point me in the direction of this specific thread. So Liam's not going to be able to help us, but he might be able to find the person that can help us. Black threads doesn't sound like a lot considering the grand scheme of things. Wait, what? 20 just in the city, right? Oh, no, no. 20 overall, I believe, were the number of black threads. Uh, but as we cut them down, they multiply. The number started is one. So it seems like cutting them isn't really the Do you know who solution? the one was? <laughs> who was the first one? Yeah. Uh, I believe the first one uh, was a man in a place called Ertheos. What you looking at me for? <laughs> We were there, and you had a black thread. I wasn't the first, though, huh? I'm not sure. I just know that this started around the, the time. How long ago? Well, well, Tristan went there to kill... How long ago was that? Yeah, wait, when did this start? About a uh, month ago. And this is the... F- so you're telling me you have a whole society of trained killers... That have been just waiting around for these black threads to show up. And they just started showing up a month ago. We are we normally uh fight against uh wayward threads. We find them and put them onto the correct path. Oh. We did not start as assassins, but over time uh it became necessary to be in order to rid the world of uh threads that uh could cause did, others harm. A did, month. Did the They became the, assassins the guy, in a month. Yeah. Well, did it the seems guy, like they were already killing wayward threads before that. Did the yeah. <laughs> wayward threads are <laughs> different than black threads. Correct. Yes, they're gray threads. <laughs> I have a list of questions to ask. Yeah, you see, <laughs> so like you start, you start with a, a green thread. You see, then, then you work your way up you. to the yellow thread, <laughs> and then from there, and then you go down the double black diamond. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then you get into your black belt. Then you're not on the yeah, yeah you're not on the bunny slopes anymore. Um. <laughs> I so, can tell that you are making fun of me, and I do not I, I'm laying it on no, so I, thick, I, Liam. No, like I, the fact not. that you are just now picking it up is amazing. To me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, was the guy that y'all were tracking to Erethaos, was he coming from... Did y'all start tracking him in Benara? No. No, he's, he was always in Erethaos and... That wasn't me, then, because these guys... Started, well, you picked up the staff, the spear in Erethaos. Well, they were tracking me before that as a wayward. We were simply doing our duties whenever we noticed uh, a tapestry began to uh, unravel. And as it unraveled, as it was being pulled from uh, its form, it the thread became black. And that was Tristan that was sent on that mission, was it not? I'm not sure who they don't was sent to other. solve it. <gasps> okay, yeah, well... We, we kind of dove into that. Seems last. like we need the Oracle, but... Did you guys have, more have a thread? Not that Tristan uh, saw. Is there one over Erethaos that you know of before we went under there? Uh, no, I don't believe there was. There wasn't, no. <laughs> that I, I cannot say with certainty because I am here and Erethaos is there, but... <clears throat> okay, let's get out of here. Well, Flora, looks like you have some questions. <laughs> Morgan has questions. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your questions, Morgan. These, these are out of... Yeah. Okay. No, you're saying it all out loud. We can Did we it. confirm that Tilly was Nurgat's master? No. Not 100%. By but assumption, yes. Whatever's possessing him might be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember that he bowed to Tilly with two. Did. Yes. Okay. That's pretty close to confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. This is. That's the only but it may not actually be Tilly. Out on my right. List. Yeah. yeah I still don't know where the fuck we are. The body of Tilly with. You're. Under we're in, in the catacombs Imsford. underneath Imsford. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Tilly disappeared. We did not kill him. With the staff yes. and the right. wares. With the staff and the wares. Yes. Right. When there was a really we keep calling the wares. I forgot that. There was a pile of obsidian. obsidian. Yeah, there was a pile of obsidian on the on the yeah. Was it one was it one was it melted down into like one giant chunk of obsidian or was it like all the weapons still in a pile of something? It. I didn't ask that. I didn't think about it. So that. you can easily tell that it was just a it was a pile of the weapons that okay, you helped okay, to forge. Okay. But I got close. Make a history check for me to see how uh how much detail you can recall. Can I help? Because I got close whenever he took the staff from yeah. me before he yeeted me across the, the statue. I have one more question. Yay! Yeah. Seventeen. You're not sure. <laughs> you know what weapons <laughs> were in that shipment. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty sure you saw the same spear that Phaedron wielded amongst the rest of the pile. Your, your thread spear. Is it just that one that has the problem, or is it all of those sitting? Probably all. But wait, yeah, wait, whoa, 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 how did that one get there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you saw my face at that moment. <laughs> That's the reaction. What? I was the spear for. that Odd had that got taken that Phaedron well wielded and turned that, into like turned the... into dust after he died was in was the, in there was down there yeah. yeah. You're not sure, but he's, you, you it, think it was. Drazad is pretty sure, and we don't know this because Drazad's in his mind space. <laughs> Although I was talking, maybe I was like, I think I saw this. No, we're there. fully <laughs> having this conversation. <laughs> well, if, that, yeah, no. if, if if that's the case, then like, did you also recognize? Some obsidian that was in the same shape that was in Apollo's chest. Well, that obsidian had all been melted. Oh, yeah. yeah that Weapon obsidian shaped. had. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. It, it was So melted. you guys never got to see what weapons those were. Okay. Well, and that obsidian what like, I'm saying, burned like, off, though. I if think. you're implying that the spear that turned to dust had reconstituted into this pile, could there have been, like, I don't know, was it in the shape of, like, a heart or something, like, in Apollo's chest? Uh, like you did not veins. see anything of that nature, no. I did. I was right on his no, chest. No, no, no. Oh, I'm saying that he did not oh, see that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I was about to say, yeah. I was all in Apollo's chest. I know exactly. <laughs> like, lies, lies. Yeah. And, and Liam just confirmed that black threads were not a thing ever Until at all. Until a month ago. Until a month ago. Until a month ago with a man that came from Erethaos. A little over a month ago is when it started, but yes. Likely Phaedron. If not odd. That does not. Hey, things have spiraled out of control very, very quickly, and it's what concerns me about the coming months. Uh, what could the world look like a month from now, even? It's hard to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your phone scared you. <laughs> it's too much. 
Morgan's on high alert. He's on, on high alert, alert here. So, so with all this talking, has the sun gone down more? As we've discussed in this corridor, or is it coming up? I mean, you can't it see brighter? the sun, but the, is it gotten brighter or darker? It, it, it looks like it's gotten that. a little darker. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's that's getting later. Well, On you, the way, are we like? What are we passing as we're making our way? Making our way downtown. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, as you as you move across the room, you see those same statues lining the the, the sides. Um, and you you follow this uh, red velvet. Uh, Look for uh, different uh, illusions on different. Yeah, I might detect magic is still up. So it's the the only one you see is the one that you came through. Okay. Uh, but as you reach the bottom of the stairs, uh, odd since you're leaving the party, you you look up and you see that the the stairs uh, ascend past uh, where you could see prior. Um, up ahead, you welcome the light of the sun. However faint, uh, as you spy two large wrought iron gate doors barring your exit into what appears to be a vibrant green courtyard steeped in sunset hues um, and in a set's looming cathedral-like castle just beyond. Uh, even from this distance, you can clearly catch the shadows of two individuals standing guard on either side of the gate on the outside. Oh. So they... They're, they're not they're not facing they're not facing you all oh are we potentially in like a mausoleum <laughs> you need me to explain that more yeah you're at the bottom of some stairs you're looking up right. the stairs there are two large uh, uh, wrought iron gate doors that are closed and there are guards on the other side of them looking out hey Brett they're, remember uh, that time that you mm-hmm. guest starred in our last campaign and we were at face a very similar situation. <laughs> and I was going to make everyone <laughs> invisible. And you only saw two guards, and we just ran right through. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to turn invisible and run right through. It's <laughs> a fair point. I do also okay. love my invisible. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to. I have no more teleports. So. Uh, I'm going to disguise self as. Uh, Eladrin? No. Elwin. Elwin. I'm going to disguise self as Elwin. Okay. And then... Uh, have you seen what he looks like in non-skeletal form? I have. I can alter self to look like him instead. I want to look like him. <laughs> I mean, I, can I do my best to like describe what he looks like to yeah, him? Can, can, wait, no, no, no. You turn into him so then he can see him and yeah. then he can <laughs> turn into him. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same idea. thing. I don't no, know. I mean, but I do have. I don't have. I have silent image, but it's silent. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do have minor illusion. I just don't have it prepared. So, yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but That's I okay. don't think you you've seen him in non-skeletal. Because I saw him in the yeah. vision. You, you have detect thoughts. You have detect thoughts. Oh yeah, you can see would, images with detect allow, thoughts. I would allow that to occur. <laughs> yeah, because I'll let you okay. peer in there. <laughs> I let you get a peek. I just needed an engine for that to properly yeah, move forward. Because yeah. I had the vision of him going, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know. No, and all even that other better. Kind of you know what it is? Yeah. You know what it is? I start with, I have minor illusion. So I, I pull up his face and stuff. And I'm like, and I'm like, and it's like right, a, yeah. And you're like, no, 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 no. It's like a sketch artist. Can, it's yeah, like, yeah, no, no, no. His can, nose was a little bit different. It's like the Mario Party <laughs> minigame. Yes. With the, yeah. Like, pulling their nose yeah, in different directions. Out, yeah. Yeah. I can cause a distraction. I got I got a I got a plan for this. Oh, do you have any wild yeah. shapes? I do. I can say I could turn into something. So, I, uh, with like working with uh working with Valoth, I'm going to get this disguise right. Okay. Use the goggles and do disguise self. Okay. To look like him. And then uh I am going to uh where the guards are. Mhm. <coughs> can I get vanished and see them? So you can get near the top of the stairs and try and like peer around to one side at yep. one of them. Yep. Um, but you may not be able to get like a good look at their face as you would, you'd be looking I, from like this direction. I think I just need to be able to see them. Sure. Okay. You can definitely see them. Okay. You mentioned Mario Party, and I've been playing so much Super Mario Wonder <laughs> that my I first idea. God, I can't stop playing. My first idea was to bubble blast. <laughs> like, Just I'm bubble done. them away. Yeah. yeah. Done. No big deal. Problem solved. Uh, I will say, as you walk up the steps, make a stealth check for me. Okay. Because as you get close, you're going to need to 
Uh, remain unseen, I would imagine. No, I don't want to remain unseen. I can oh, okay. Do, I can do cat. So, You're fine so if this is just, with- there is no range on this thing. It's like for duration, you have advantage on all charisma checks against uh, one creature of your choice. So I'm going to pick one of these guys. Okay. Yeah. And it's itself. Is it like friends or something? It's friends. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. And then I tell I tell the party to like, hey hey guys y'all y'all follow me and act like you've been here before okay? Act like you've been places before. <laughs> yeah. What's that from? The office. Uh, as you reach near the top of the steps and you finish casting your spell, uh, you almost like finger gun at one yeah, of them. Yeah, of course. Uh, and, and you the, wink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that one actually turns around seemingly in response. Uh, a human in uh, uh, resplendent armor and a red cape. Ah, Master Elwind, uh, welcome back. And he unlocks the gate uh, and begins to open it. You have guests. Yes. New recruits to help track down the people who killed the king. Well then, Godspeed to you and they. See, motions you forward into the courtyard beyond. A little sneaky sneak. And then uh, we just mosey on. Yeah. Mosey on no, uh, no perception check there, because I mean that's it's you pretty look like convincing. Yeah, that yeah. Was yeah that's good. Um, it's okay. How do you back? How to back up? So in an like, hour. Yeah, I wanted to say before he started, I was like, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna prepare. In an hour, sure. he's gonna know. And, uh, and he's gonna know, but he's gonna be mad at Elwin. <laughs> 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 oh wait, so in an hour he'll know you cast a friend, yeah. but he won't know that you're disguised. Correct. Ah, I see. Okay. He'll know that he was charmed. Yeah. Now that all of you are uh, looking upon the courtyard, you are surprised to see an expansive and well-kept marble mosaic floor amidst the blades of grass and elaborate tombstones. Crumbled walls and ruins of a once mighty structure decorate the green space, intentionally left alone and seeming to imply a great reverence for whatever once stood here. The likeness of the sun is depicted upon the old tiles, still appearing to glow even within the twilight. What? Yeah, you're looking at this. <laughs> oh, no. This? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this. You guys are so exiting wait, here. Oh, wait, what time are is we it? high? Like, no. <laughs> well, I don't know. Did you smoke that rat? <laughs> 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 are we high in elevation? <laughs> no. Like... It, this was our, the ground floor of the tower. What is our opinion? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was up in the tower. <laughs> yeah, no, all right. Each floor looked the same, but where we all died was what the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is where we died. Yeah. This is okay. where died. For those of you who are confused, go watch the go last watch campaign. Last season, yeah. <laughs> this is the first episode? Oh. Yeah, the first episode. <laughs> That's why when he puts this on the table, I was like... <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I have two questions. One, is my detect magic still up? Yeah, it's like 10 minutes. Huh? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I would imagine it is. And is it picking anything up? In this courtyard, it would not be picking anything up. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, But you can see all around you, basically surrounding you, is the large castle structure that you saw um, from the Radiant Pyre, uh, basically the seat of power in uh, in Eimsford. Uh, Ahead of you directly, there is a large uh, archway that leads inside of that structure. Yeah, do we <clears throat> y'all want to get out of here? Oh like, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we Morgan continue. wants to get out of here way more than Flora <laughs> wants to get out of here. Flora's like, ooh. Flora's so, like, ooh, pretty. <laughs> Morgan's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are there stairs down and up like this, or it's you said it's a wide open courtyard? Like the top it's of a- this thing got blown off. Yeah, so okay. what you're seeing, there are like ruins around the edges of this, mm-hmm. like where walls probably once were. Um, and as you inspect, uh, I'll have you make an investigation check. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> you don't see anything that I resembles am, I am stairs leading up or <laughs> <Okay>. down. <laughs> uh, and as a matter of fact, it's been well kept, but the grass has like grown over the edges a little bit. Uh, very much um, without knowing what it is, Looks something like just a, a a large marble pavilion. I turn around to like guard, and I'm like, "Have the groundskeepers do a better job?" Right away, sir. Uh, of course, we want to make sure this is as uh, perfectly manicured as possible. I'm just 
uh, you see the one you're talking to begin to run ahead uh, off to a, a smaller uh, side building leading into the, the castle. All right. Let's head on out. Okay. Um, as you step within the archway, you see the interior of the castle uh, befits its famed moniker. Some of you may have heard it uh, in your travels. Uh, this is the solar- solarium. Um, as light uh, artificial and otherwise pours like red wine and golden rivers from the beautiful stained glass windows in the in a large uh, ornate glass dome high above an expertly crafted uh, atrium that connects many floors and wings of the place together uh, on the far side continuing straight forward uh, you t- you see two open uh, metal doors that lead out into the same courtyard uh just shy of the radiant pyre so where you were a few the sessions ago pyre, didn't we dispel it in and out you that dispelled was... the illusion that was making it hot oh, okay and that was yeah giving us the psychic damage basically. dispel magic yeah. basically allows you to target like a okay. spell a effect yeah. well a spell yeah. and yeah. yeah okay we continue on okay um Moving through uh, the solarium and into the courtyard, you see uh, a number of red capes, a number of sun-touched soldiers, uh, as well as some town's guard and some nobles uh, walking around and going about their daily lives. Uh, it all feels a bit amiss to you. Um, even though your, your plan is going off without a hitch, it just feels odd to be uh, just walking through this this seat of power that you now know stands above such a dark and desolate place uh, likely most of them unaware is no one giving us a second glance because we have two Drizads or Drizad and a, and a cousin of Drizad yeah Lizard. a bearded dragon and we're not in this place we're like in a courtyard around it uh, we well you, you moved it. into the actual castle itself yeah, we and you're walking through Going, where is this? <clears throat> we us. came out of that gate from the castle. We walked across we this. across this, and now we're working like into the castle where the radiant pyre was. Back to where, where the we big began. Thing of light was where we jumped in. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I can't make any visual. That's okay. Connection tonight. You I'm guys, so sorry. That, it's totally fine. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to break um, it down for you. Is there a leader of Sun Touch? I thought they all left. Uh, uh, some board. remained. Okay. Uh, but many of them marched off to war, yes. Where did we park our ship again? I don't remember. Out, 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 out of the way. We're going to get out of the city. Out of the south side of town. You think yeah. I know where the ship is? Uh, I, pulled, I pulled Val off the side, making sure nobody else hears. And I'm like, hey. Hi. Should we do something with this disguise to, like, <laughs> cause some shit? Hello. I think people would get too suspicious if we tried to do good with it. Um, because the best we could do is try to call off the war, but... These guys... These people suck. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, what would be your suggestion? That's why I asked you, because I don't know. <laughs> Again, uh, th- what would do the most help would be to... The war seems like a distraction from what's actually going on. And right. so it would be to redirect back to what's actually happening. Which is? We don't know. That's the, that's the other problem. Well, why do you think it's a distraction? Because Bernard killed the king because the king was being puppeted by evil. So Elwin knows Elwin knows why the king died, and yet he he's still s- what? Didn't yeah. he kill Elwin? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's just explaining that Elwin knows. But he he looks like Elwin. They don't know that no. Elwin's dead. Okay. I know that. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah okay. No no you good. Um. But before we killed Elwin, he did send everyone off to war to fight Banara. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Because when we when we uh, showed how? up, they were all walking out to go to war. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there like a command post of Sun Touch? It would be here. The solar. That's what I'm saying. Like, on our way out, can I find? Maybe their war uh, plans. Just a general or somebody like that. You you know. Uh, just from your travels through Einsford, that the Sun Touched are like the elite military. Uh, some of them are are more rank and file than others, but for the most part, most of them are high ranking commanders. Uh, so any red cape that you see is going to. Before, maybe maybe what we could do is you could 
ask the one of the higher ranking commanders for um, for the war plans for you to review in your quarters tonight or, or something and we can provide that to Banara so that the war at least is swift and they can refocus back to the, the real threat yeah I'm gonna try and some I'm gonna try and find uh, a general on our way out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all to probably go ahead and get out I think so yeah Yes. Okay. I'd be fine with that. To get uh, out of the city? Basically, leave Odd to, to do leave a me few by things myself because y'all bit. are going to, if I'm yeah. with y'all, it'll ask more questions. But we'll start heading towards the ship. Yeah. Yeah, how, the how long does. An hour. So I have a whole hour. If I'm not back in an hour. <laughs> 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 if I'm not back, in, I'll be back in an hour. Oh, yeah. you used your fly for the yeah. day, didn't you? Oh, I was about to say, I was like, well, we can fly over you, and you oh, can fly no. up and meet us. That's right, I can't. <laughs> I have the propeller helm you can have. Yeah, that's not going to help. Well, I'm it'll, it'll be fine. It'll He's be not fine. attuned to it. I oh, right. yeah. can wild shape and come find you. It's fine. I'll be fine. If you're, Okay, if you don't come back in an hour, we're coming after you. Yeah. yeah. We'll uh, fly low. Just you know a little detour, break like, off so. from this group once they're out of the castle. Okay. And and find and stay behind and find like a general or somebody. Mm-hmm. And I, I just want to... I want to do... This, I want to do this, the same thing. I want to... Um, say, you know, present myself, let them talk to me, and then, you know. Got it. Uh, with that, uh, the four of you, including Liam, uh, are going to leave the solarium and begin yeah. moving through uh, the city towards the southern gate uh, just a bit past is, is where your, your ship is, is parked uh, within the tree or near the tree line of the burning forest. Um, and you... Look across the crowd, uh, and you you happen to see uh, three Sun Touch standing together, speaking to each other. Um, two of them, uh, about your height, are looking down, and even though they're looking down at the third Sun Touch, uh, a more squat figure, that figure appears to be commanding respect from them. And so you you approach, and you see uh, a dwarf uh, with uh, brown. Uh, <laughs> brown hair. They're not bald. It's it's it actually flows into their beard and sort of connects. Um, they look fairly young, uh, but their eyes tell you that they've they've they're battle worn at the very least. Should we leave the room for this? Did you just create your no. own? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just wants us to get yeah. kicked out. No, I, think, I think it'll be quick. Uh, it's like any way I can do it. <laughs> you guys leave. I'll, I'll not take care of this. They have, they have markings, right? That show like their rank, kind of. Uh, they would. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy, what, what what rank would he be? Um, like he general? looks at the very least somebody that would would command a, a platoon of, of soldiers perhaps he's in control of uh, some subsection of the city's security sounds like a captain yeah I'd be like uh, so I'd walk up and I'd be Master Elwind captain <clears throat> you're dismissed and the other two uh, sort of nod and, and shuffle off I tell him uh, it has come to my attention of some treachery that Banara has laid at our feet past the death of her tilly with nothing would surprise me now sir i need a copy of your battle plans make a persuasion check for this review can i cast friends on him we have rolls in the chat oh that's true yeah let me yeah (laughs) uh what we got in chat (laughs) a a 20 a 12 and a 17 And a plus five. Uh, I'll take a plus five. I'll take a plus five in my reaction for a 25. Okay. He sort of glances to either side. Uh, Sir, I don't uh, have access to those, but as I understand, it's uh, they march through uh, Sojit towards Panara. Directly into the... Directly into a trap. <laughs> what would you have them do instead? Take the long way around. Go west. <laughs> I would have Start them... I would have them... And 
Where's where's Ruji? Sojit. Sojit. Sojit is to the west. To the west of Benara, right? Is this Elwind or is this you? No, that that's me thinking. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. When you said Sojit, it, I would say I would have them get to Sojit. Yeah. And block off the pass. Block off the pass north of Naka, Nakakawa. Nabekawa? Yeah. Nabekawa. Yeah. Nebraska. <laughs> Create a there blockade is, to starve them out, so to speak. We will block. We will choke them out. We will cut off their supply lines. Things could get complex with Turtisil, I believe, but I trust your judgment. Pass my word to the generals. As you command. And he brings a hand to his chest, pounds it, uh, and then uh, walks off about as fast as dwarf legs can carry. Mm-hmm. And then I slip out. Okay. Well done. <laughs> oh, uh, that with was that, uh, I'll say, I mean, that didn't take long at all. You're probably able to catch up with the rest of the group um, as they uh, reach the southern gate, and you all continue straight out of it. Uh, as night begins to fall, you uh, leave the city at large. You actually hear Liam breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> So, are you headed east now? Are you coming with us on the ship to Mistkeep? If you would, uh, would perhaps carry me closer yeah. to Sojit. Uh, I need to gain ground on this armed battalion heading towards my people. We can do, like, because we can fly for two days, right? We can do a day east. And Mistkeep and is kind of on the way to Sojit, isn't it? No, it's no. north. It's like north. northwest or northeast. Mm-hmm. But what we can do is fly straight north. Drop Liam or straight, straight east. east. Drop I'll pull Liam up a map. Off, we'll yeah. yeah, we could drop Liam off in Tirith. Right. And then go straight north. Yeah, can we make it to Tirith in one one jaunt? That would be two days for sure. Yeah, so one one ship jaunt. Yeah, we can go to Tirith, drop him off, and then head north to Wait, hold on, wasn't there some shenanigans with the ship now about a two day travel? No, 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 we can. I can. No, we can push, we can push it. it. We can basically that. sprint and take an hour off of an hour off of travel for each like minute oh, that's, of sprint yeah, or something for each round of sprinting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, you I have you still have your two day limit as you did yeah. before, but it's like yeah. if you go beyond two days, the ship is going to crash yeah. because yeah. those parts will get yeah. worn out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah, and we can sprint, but that just takes time. Is that, is I had to pull up my ship. Yeah, that's, that's my correct. Ship info. Ooh. Uh, Morgan, you weren't here, but odds, uh, odds done. He's back with the group. <laughs> Nobody <did>. died. <laughs> I convinced them to stop their march. To form a blockade instead of like going all the way to uh, instead of, uh, oh, Yeah. Shit. Okay. I told them that they laid a trap for them and that they can't just run straight in. They have to like okay. we have to, block have to them siege them pretty much. This will buy us time. I, I appreciate the forethought. It's very clever. What an hour. Uh, although I'm, I'm a bit worried that the blockade may actually prove uh, successful to some degree. But once they realize, I mean, Elwyn's dead. So once they they might realize, realize that that, that wasn't Elwyn, yeah. they may continue. The, so it'll just buy some time, probably. True enough. Well done. Perhaps I can get ahead of them. Uh, but if you are willing to fly, fly me to Tirith uh, before you make your way north, I should be able to overtake them. Let's head out now. Let's not waste time. Absolutely. Uh, so punching the code on the ship. <laughs> I walk. I walk up with the key and try to unlock it. It's, <laughs> it does not have a keyhole. You also know the code. No, I don't. You yes, told me you the do. wrong thing I, on purpose. I did not tell you the wrong thing on purpose. I told people different things, and I don't want to explain it because I told you something different. I don't want to. I don't want to tell them. It's more to keep something from them. But everyone okay. knows the code. I swear, baby, it's not. Wait, what was it's not everyone else. Yeah. Everyone, everyone knows else. the code. I'm doing you a favor, actually, by telling you something different. <laughs> uh, so all of you board the ship. Valoth, I assume you are taking the helm. Flies up and out. I'm going down okay. to the engine Make room. a survival check for me. Back to my stuff. Laura's just going to be studying her notes. Like, okay, so this is what happened, and then we saw this. <laughs> then we went to this place. Right. Then we did this. <laughs> if only she could read Valox notebooks. I'm going to use my reaction to take a 12. 
<laughs> oh wow, was that bad? Um, that's the lowest dice roll that we had. Yeah, I rolled really bad. Um, <laughs> for a sixteen. Okay. Uh, with your sixteen, you're able to take off easily enough and gain your bearing towards uh, Tirith. Um, as you sail above the clouds, you turn one last time to admire the city perched upon the coast. A river bisecting its many stone structures under a, a sliver of moonlight as the sun is now fully set and you see the solarium illuminated by the resplendent beacon of the radiant pyre is there anything that you guys would like to do on your journey to Tirith? i would have liked to use sky right best i can not like completely block but just help like hide I our, talk our exit to Valoth. as best okay. i can we got two days. Uh, make make a stealth check with the ship. It, ship. It'll be a straight roll, just because it is quite a large object. Thirteen. Okay. Hard to tell from this distance, but you feel as though the just, ship. Just, it's nighttime. I felt like nighttime does enough, like, but just yeah. enough to like no absent light or anything like that. I wanna, gonna, uh, what, what, what were you saying, Morgan? Yeah. I want to talk to Valoth about all the stuff that happened with Kish, but I can do that once everybody else. You can go. I mean, if that's yeah. what you want to do. What were you going to say? I want to talk to Liam about, like, how to become a weaver mm-hmm. and how to see loose threads. You but must. You yeah. do this one first. <clears throat> you guys go first. Yeah. I, uh. So, Kish. Yes. Were you sh- surprised to see her? Yes. I mean, people typically only leave, um,. Carantan's lair um, on missions. So she stays in Carantan's lair. Most of the people in that um, group do. And you left. Yes. So you used to serve Carantan. Not by choice, but yes. Care to elaborate on that? I doubt you do. Oh well, yeah, I have totally. I can, yeah. Um, my parents, I was born into it. My parents mm. joined and I was quite young. Or I think, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused because Kish said she you would have been born. born into so I was, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was born into it. How old were you when you left? I left mere weeks before I met you all. Oh, yeah. so this is a new thing. <clears throat> yeah. See, Where are, you, are your parents still in it? I doubt they've noticed my absence, though. They must be deep into it. Did you leave, like, an illusion behind or something? No, they just... Uh, they barely knew I was there when I was there, so... I doubt that they would much notice when I was gone. Kish was more family than they were. How is it that you've lived all these different lives and experienced all these different things, but you were with Grant and up until... Does she need to make up? No, this is just to see if, if Kish was is gonna uh, not Kish if um if Valor Valor. would trust. Whether he would try to deceive or not. Um What was your question again? It was How have you lived all these different lives? Because whenever was it you that had mentioned Yes, yes lived all these lives, yeah. you yeah. were like I was just about to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Um I haven't necessarily lived other lives. Um, uh, one of the gifts that I was given as being part of that uh, that group was um, to see into alternate realities. So these are versions of me who weren't part of the group, mm. who got to live lives. So there's a version of you somewhere that's a sailor. A pirate, but yes. And you liked that. It's useful to tap into that knowledge. It's also worth noting that all the ones that I've tapped into are, are dead. Hmm. Is this like They're a... They're ones whose worlds ended. It's like a Jet Li, the one situation. <laughs> <laughs> like you kill these guys in other dimensions. And no. like, I do not kill them. Um, you get their powers. <laughs> every now and again, I'll have a... Um, while meditating... I might get a a vision of a world blinking out of existence, and even rarer than that, there are sometimes alternate versions of me either directly involved or indirectly involved in 
the end of their worlds. Mm. And when their light is snuffed out, their energies are adrift and, and able to be tapped into. So why did you leave Carrington? I saw this world end. And no one believed me. Everyone thought that it was an alternate reality, not a future. Have this world? Seen, our world? Have yes. you seen it in since? So is this yes. your world? Uh, uh, this dimension. Uh, not Maybe not this plane. <clears throat> I was born in Carrington's lair, which is... In, in, but it's in between planes, right? It's not would, like... Yeah, it's... it's would, wait, 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 wait. Astral. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. How does our world end? I don't... That's what I don't know. But I do believe it is tied to something that... Whatever's going on here with... But you say, you, and you, say you saw it. I saw... I didn't see it, and I, I guess I should clarify. I, I saw nothing. The world had been reduced to emptiness. So you know it ends, you just don't know how or when. No. but Rewind the, the tape. <laughs> <laughs> if it were that easy, um, I might be able to... I might have been able to convince the rest of um, Carantin's followers to, um, to join me. But everyone thought that I saw just another world, only slightly different than ours, but something felt different. So how, when you left Carantin's lair, how did you know to go to Aerith? I fell like a mile outside of there. Oh. I, I believe it to be fate that I... Interesting. ...happened upon this path. You fell? In the water? Well, the, out of that, and I'll point plane. to the scar. Oh, you fell out of the scar? Yes. Oh. So, is that... That's how you get Carantin's to Carantin's lair? ...domain on the other side of there? I'm not 100% sure. It's it's a tear between planes of existence, and Carantin's lair is in a weird nebulous astral sea kind of place. I, is it like when you got a bunch of stacks of paper and you cut right through all of them? Like, potentially? It. I would believe that it... I don't know much about the scar other than that. It could potentially lead to multiple places. Hmm. And that is not how my parents got into Carantin's lair. So mm. I know it's not typically the way that people leave either. <clears throat> Bless you. Bless you. Yes. And I had kept a lot of this from you all, and apologies because... Um, not from me. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't sure um, if we could as much that Kish means to me, I wasn't sure that we could trust her or the, any others from Carantin's followers. Um, I didn't know if sharing my knowledge of alternate universes um, would constitute that you all have to die. In their eyes, I... Their... Is that something that everyone there can do? See no, universes. right? Or yes? No? Yes? Uh, everyone that has uh, taken the rite of passage has glimpsed one other reality, but uh, you're not supposed to... Uh, you know that they're not supposed to do it multiple times because it can... Fly with the Marines, yeah. 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 Okay, but you've done it multiple times, it seems. Well, you took, you did your drift once, but you have seen other realities since. Not from going in the pool, no, but... Mm -hmm. Yes. Going in the pool. The the, the right um, of passage. Carantin bathes in this astral pool. It's where the guppy comes from. It's he also mm. eats the fish. It's a whole thing. But uh, a rite of passage is is getting one taste of his power by. Ah, and that like bathing lets in that you pool. like live another reality. It almost? lets us witness. Not everyone can live mm. other realities, but yes. I don't. I, I don't fully believe that that. Kish can live um, an alternate reality the way that I can. Hmm. Hmm. So they're going to kill us too? Just like this well, guy? According to Kish, they didn't want me dead. And I have the knowledge, so I don't see why. Who's they? The, Who are we talking about? The, 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 the Carantin's the followers. The other Carantin's oh. people. You hear Jazad whisper. Carantin definitely doesn't care. The cult. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The other cult. Yes. Mm. Okay. What questions did you have for uh, 
So it, we had talked previously about how did he, how Liam, we talked previously about the way that you can see the black threads. You said it was a ritual where you have to like drink a potion or something like that, right? No, no, you, 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 you pledge yourself, you pledge your life to the, the thread spinner. Most of us have been uh, approached by her in some form, but more or less, this is all that is required. So you, you have to go to it's no small thing. You have to go to Benara and, and do a, do this with the Oracle. Not everyone does. Mm-hmm. But if you were looking for a direct path to become a weaver, that would be one way. Yes. I, I am interested, but I only have the next 24 hours with you. Uh, perhaps 40, yeah, 40. take time to reach out, open yourself to the fates divined for you uh, rather than choosing your own path. The thread spinner will uh, thread the needle and you will uh, hopefully remain open enough to become a weaver. Hmm. Okay, I, I try and start doing that. Do you actually? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I'm, I'm very interested in... While I don't totally agree with their ways, I do like the oaths of and the tenets of him snuffing out, the finding the threads. Because mm-hmm. that seems very useful. Make a religion check, and I'm going to say with disadvantage, because... Okay going in for for the wrong reasons yeah <laughs> that's kind of like you're you're looking at like the power and you're like oh that's useful and, right. and the idea of it maybe too but you're not like fully committed you right know? right you haven't drank the kool-aid that's why i was actually you just like the was, flavor i was just asking if there was kool-aid <laughs> to drink you're not give yeah, me yeah. some of that yeah. <laughs> oh we have a yeah 15 17 and 20 uh, yeah, we got some d4s <laughs> Yeah, one, two, and three. And I would think yeah, it's been I'll take six the seconds. Fifteen in chat for t- thirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty thirty. Very dirty. As you No. <laughs> are you doing this uh in the privacy of uh you know, like <laughs> underneath the ship or or below deck, I mean? Does he recommend that I do it by myself or does he recommend that we sit together? And like meditate. He would. There's no necessary recommendation, but I I will stand with you if you think it will help. I, I'll do it by myself then. Okay. And the way I want to do it too is is I want to have I want to find a spot on the ship that's by myself, separated. Um you know closed door and i want to kind of get sit down cross-legged and i want to have my sword my mom my mother's sword Mm -hmm. and the shield out and i want to have my hands on both of them while thinking about is this the direction i want to go to become become a weaver and is is this ultimately what my purpose is okay um kind of communing he said you have to reach out and that's kind of what i'm trying to do yeah i am going to (laughs) this is not just because you want it i'm gonna have everyone (laughs) leave except for Ah, (laughs) yes yes i did it i did it guys (laughs) i did it chat (laughs) I'll do like 15 tries. Okay, leave, leave your dice rolls up just in case you need to. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving them. <laughs> That's what we have. Bye. Yeah, get Bye. out of here. Yeah, get out of here. It's my turn now. <laughs> you coming, babes? Come on, baby. It smells like up dog in here. Up dog. What's up dog? <laughs> I'm going to read Valos bookwise. <laughs> so, as you focus your mind 
uh, alone below deck while the others are above, seemingly uh, in the light of the sun. Maybe it's been a day. You try to connect with this being of the beyond. And you immediately, though your eyes are closed, become aware of a bright light that has enveloped the area beneath uh, the deck of the Copper Griffin. As you kind of squint a bit and open your eyes just a little, you become uh, uh, enamored by the, the multitude of different shadows that are cast across your sur- surroundings by the bright source of light as it sort of like warbles into place and begins to take shape. The chamber is graced by the holy radiance and the scent of incense that carries with it. And as you open your eyes fully, you now stare as an angel clad in resplendent gleaming armor floats just above the floor. She looks she looks across you with kind eyes before finally landing her gaze upon yours and with a soothing voice of a mother she greets you thank you Solas you and your friends have done well I I thought you had passed on (laughs) I have is this form not enough to convince you I'm we're trying to do our best and I heard you when I fought Eve and heard you again when Eve was taken I don't know what's going on I don't as a mother you do things to protect your child It's why I never told you about the family that came before you and your father. And I'll admit, perhaps there was some small part of myself that worried if I'd spoken the words into existence, told you that story among so many others, that it would come true again. History would repeat itself. I didn't want that for you. I didn't want that life of war. I wanted you to find your own way, and you have. She kind of smiles a bit, lovingly. You had another family, or are you talking about your brothers and sisters? Eve is your half-sister was your half-sister. In my time before I left the Sun Touched Order, I loved. I had a family. A man named Isaac captured my heart in a way that few have since. I was not there for the fall of Innocent. And when I returned, I was told that they had perished. And so I fled. Surely, Pelor would not have uh, brought this fate upon me if I had done what it was he truly wanted. And so I set out in search of that. And ultimately, you came from that. I don't if 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 it was another life after the one before these I met people who knew you here they called you a traitor those are their words for me but I know others that have different words words like hero words like friend 
words like mother. I prefer those. I saw two names there too. I think Isaac was one of them. And even. And even. Who was that? Even is Eve. Oh. That's what I thought. It's funny. I didn't want to hurt her and... and... I don't believe you did. Her soul was tormented at that point. Corrupt. Distorted. She was fed lies about her mother who abandoned her. In order to make her pliable. In some dark way she she sought to do good on her own she fought for what she thought was right much as I did when I was one of many sun-touched soldiers are the sun-touched bad? not all of them like Eve did like Even did they seek to do good they just They're misinformed. Many of them follow too blindly. Imesford has long been a country that has been uh, seemingly led by light, but in reality, led by the long shadow it casts. Our <clears throat> you said that me and my friends were are, are are we doing the right thing? That is for you to decide. But know that I support you. I'm happy with what you've done so far. You will continue to have my blessing as whatever portion you may need of it. I'm I'm scared we're not doing the right thing. I'm scared we're taking sides or helping bad people do bad things. That fear, that worry, it's it's healthy. It's good. It's what many soldiers lack. But it's what heroes need. The answers are not always so clear. I find it best to roll them up into little stories, make them easier to understand. Odd starts crying. <laughs> like, as he remembers all of the uh, stories, you know, childhood stories from his childhood. As you and I speak, I see you wield my shield so well. And although even claim to be aiming to redeem my blade, I see it tarnished. Perhaps before returning it to me, you might take it up yourself. I can do that. Then I leave the rest to you. Oh, and uh, find your own way. Threads are complicated, tangly things. Best to weave it yourself. And with that, the light begins to diminish, and where you once saw the visage of your mother, the room grows dark. Uh, and you only see the cascading light from the uh, the the uh, trap door leading down into the belly of the ship. With that, I think this is probably the best time for us to go ahead and take a little break. <laughs> ah, chills. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm so glad that finally happened yeah. for you. Um, as I mentioned before, while we're on break, we're going to run a little bit of a giveaway nice. uh, from our friends over at, I'll make sure to add the link in the description because I did forget to do that. 
Um, where is it? Uh, well, I'll, I'll bring it back uh, in a second. I think it's pen and paper online dot de, uh, which is actually a German extension. So it's our friends all the way over in Germany uh, wow, who are making these really cool yeah. uh, potion bottles. Uh, they have a little D twenty inside. So if you like magic eight balls and d20s uh this is uh this is that you know uh you can use it in your campaign it looks really cool and flavorful like a little luck potion uh they're going to be giving out uh three of these and we'll be doing one for every single session i'm going to go ahead and open the giveaway here let me go on break and i'll do that while i'm on break but you guys go ahead and enter this giveaway uh we'll close it whenever we get back and find out who won a potion yeah. okay bye bye Woo, going alex <laughs> Terribly sorry. I didn't know anyone would be here while the stream was running. Uh, give me a moment to tidy up. Uh, 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 oh, it's much better. Well, um, while you're here, we might as well take a moment to thank all of our members for supporting the channel and bringing this stream to life. Um, a huge thanks to Tides of Mo, Brett Venable, Tabletop Beard, Grim Reefer, Atma Seeker, Justinian of Darkport, Angel Jobert, Paul Tankersley, Corey of Darkport, Angel of Darkport, Dravian, Anthony Pace, Drazadi, Memebot69000, Crow, Leodis Chiron, Laravian, Grief and Rider, Stacy Ransom, Eric K, Ralph Tiff, Spiders, Xenon, Patrick, Holty Swift, Jason Ray T, Riley the Pirate, Tony Patterson, Ooh, George Borgott, Alex Havers, Ramble, Havoc, Bethany, Draconian, Bit Beyond Help, ML, Bearman79, Mad Joe the Gamer, Jutin103, Manu DSTV, 420 Nosco, Cause, Tiger Holly. Marilo Goncalves, Coon Vandery, Ian McCart, Giovanna, Drew Blanchard, Aaron B, Matty, Owler Sinis, Malatach, Marico and Jeff, Maid of Heart, Middle-Aged Malcontent, Brett Gidry, Scotty996, Lori, Message Mirethi, Jaren Hatch, Yevhin Costin, Rocco, Angry Viking, Salty Tiger, Heath Hoxie, Codal, Jake Deck, Rayane Hereth, Sleepy Dude, Nico Tortuga, Hugh, William Marple, Crackpot, Homeless Man Joe, Zabak Longfang, Lars Lonskog, Sandslash82, Carolyn Mesco, Yeet Yeet, Rub My Beard, I Splits, Snowy Owl, Tyler Verquin, CW, Mike Gaya, Q Man, Yusuf Yilmaz, Luso American, Big Head Bro, One Eyed Goat 90, Player Lord, Daniel J. Kobe, Charlie Gardner, Midori Peter, Lazy As F, JJ Terror JJ, Christopher Love, Kokung Win, Kendall, Everett McMahon, Moon Goose McQueen, Leo Dos Reis, and Lil Tired. <laughs> you know. Members get tons of unique benefits as well, like these weekly shoutouts and emojis that they can use in the stream chat, and a heaping helping of chaos points that can be used to, well, perhaps it's better to show you. The most exciting feature for our live streams has come to YouTube. You can now roll dice live to help us in our adventures by using chaos that's built up by watching and interacting with the stream. All you need to do is keep an eye out for earning instructions that appear on our stream and then spend those points by typing in the commands that correspond to the dice you'd like to roll. This feature is always available, no matter what campaign we're playing in, so be sure to hop in and help out our players because, well, they're gonna need it. 
Greetings to all my bearded brothers out there. I'm Alex, also known as Constructed Chaos on YouTube, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my friends over at Tabletop Beard. This family-owned beard oil company is run by three brothers that have combined two great loves of mine tabletop RPGs and beard care. And it makes a lot of sense because as I'm sure many of you know, growing and maintaining a healthy beard can be an adventure all its own. I started my quest back before I was even on YouTube and I guess you could say I was stuck at level one for a while. Constantly itching my way through life with a wild and unkempt beard and just trusting hairspray and regular shampoo to get the job done. Believe me, I was rolling nat ones on just about every charisma check I made at that point. But eventually I started trying various beard care products like oils, butters, and balms and I found some that worked well enough, but none of them really tied into my backstory. Not to mention my wife was constantly complaining about the smell. Then I was put on to the products from Tabletop Beard, and let me tell you, it was a match made in heaven. Or hell, depending on what kind of flavor you prefer. These guys use a premium oil blend of meadow foam seed, rose hip, golden jojoba, argan, avocado, and sunflower oils to create the most high quality product that contains no cheap filler or artificial oils that you typically want to steer clear of. And each scent has been expertly crafted and matched to a familiar TTRPG style so you know exactly the kinds of vibes you're putting out without the scents being too mundane or too overpowering. To top it off, all their products, oils, butters, and balms are made in small batches, so the quality control is top-notch, and so is the customer service. They're always looking for new ways to meet and exceed customer needs, and I've even heard that they have some new ideas cooking up behind the scenes. So consider this your session zero, and take some time to check out Tabletop Beer today. Truly, they're the only starting equipment that you need for your own successful beer care journey. Bear Dritz here, letting you in on a little known ranger secret that'll keep you satiated in the wild, even when you have no rations left. Ew, not that. I'm talking about subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon. It's easy to miss the signs of a stream going live if you're not prepared. So make sure to do that and... What was that? Right there, adventurer. We're looking for some deviants that refuse to like this video while they're still watching. You wouldn't happen to know anything about this heinous crime, would you? Well then, as you were, but stay out of trouble. In a world of darkness exists Geramentum, a beacon of hope in the realm of Terra. Our heroes, all with unique pasts, live here and are connected by a common destiny to protect the dream. Welcome to Darkport, an actual play production company. Our inaugural dark fantasy D&D campaign, Gold, Green and Red, is inspired by the lived experience of war medic and GM, Angel Gamel. Subscribe to us now on YouTube. Live episodes stream every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central. It appeared out of thin air when they found it, as if by the will of the planes themselves. A curious and mysterious bubble that has turned up time and time again throughout the ages. Some have studied it all their lives, hoping to unravel its uniquely fascinating magical properties. Many more have used its power for their own, though all falling victim to fate in the end. Now, it calls to you. By chance, by destiny, by desire, it matters not. It calls to you, and it calls to be cast from your palm, so that it might deliver unto you the unknown wonders held within.
longer are they going to- Oh! Um, uh, excuse me. Are they still not back? Um, wait there just a moment. I'll fetch them for you. The little chaos gremlins. You have people waiting, you know! Uh, hopefully you had a great break. I see some names here in the Lucky Potion giveaway from our friends over at pen and paper online dot de. Uh, make sure you don't put dot com. I don't know if that's a different company or it's where that sends country. you. But Denmark. Yeah. Well, Maybe. de is Germany. It's Germany. Germany. So uh, I mean, Dutchland. Base, yeah. <laughs> Deutschland. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, check them out. Uh, they are giving us these potions to give away for free. Uh, so, uh, like I said, we'll be doing three over the next three weeks. Uh, and yeah, if you, if you end up not winning, they also gave us a discount code. You can use chaos 15 for 15% off on their website. Really cool stuff. Um, in case we have any more last minute entries, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit more time to, to join in the giveaway. Uh, but those, those potions are actually really cool. They we are always, really cool. We always free. We have a couple. We always forget. What what greater potion has what lesser what all of those? Well, this one's this one's a D twenty. It's like a yeah. magic eight ball, but yeah. No, that I mean that one's cool too. I mean, it, it, like you said, it's magic eight ball, but also like they can they have others if you want to use the, the yeah. code yeah that are that are useful just to so like a help to, potion yeah. So you don't have to remember how many D four it is or yeah. Like yeah. That, yeah any of that stuff. Uh, but while I give you guys a little bit more time to jump into the giveaway for that, uh, let's rejoin our adventurers as you uh, continue your trek to Tirith. Uh, I don't think you guys were planning on doing anything else on your travels, right? How big is that city? Um, no, not that I can think of. Um, much smaller than Inneset, maybe bigger than Dolwich, the farming settlement that you were... Smaller than Sal New Salvation. I'm trying to put it in terms of, of that. Yeah. I would like to talk to Rizad. Okay. I'm down with the engine. Um, I was gonna say, yeah. I was like, I'm down with a mechanic, and then I was like, that's not yeah. the word. Um, <laughs> did, have you told us your name? Or are you still going by Odd? Um, I don't think he told us his name. Yeah, no. If I know it. You told you, me. Yeah, I, don't I know told you. Do. Then I would, I would say, I would say, Odd. Um, would you like to take the helm for a second? Boy, would I? <laughs> <laughs> Make a survival check. <laughs> we. Oh my god, he did so yeah. much better. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, oh, oh, oh no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> he's he's at 20. He always goes back to where I, he did I the right back heading. to the last time I did it, and oh, I was like, no. oh, this pedal makes the wing go in. I'm like, oh, but this one makes the wing go in. And I start like alternating wings to make the <laughs> to make it start banking yeah. really fast <laughs> and news. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and, cool. and I was like, thank God I had a uh, Drizod put handles <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> in. He's walking down. <laughs> <laughs> the equivalent of like when you get in a car and you put the seat all the way back to yeah. yeah. drive <laughs> Yeah. That's what he's doing right now. Exactly. Um But I'd like to talk to Jazad. I know there's been a lot about um your wares and everything, and I was thinking I know you have um the ability to send messages a great distance. Um Do you know anything about who commissioned the wares and who had you bring them? to um, that place. Um, <laughs> Eretheos, <clears throat> to begin with. No. Taking the assumptive approach, I would imagine... I would... Oh, Lord. Imagine. Hold on, let me get it back. <laughs> I would... I know, I was like, Drizat, I would imagine it was Phaedron, if I had to make any assumptions. He was I the one that was... I know he faked the... Um, we we had gathered that he had faked the writ. The, the writ. Oh, but who might have conscripted him to fake the writ? Yes, or, or if your your mentor or whoever, because you said you didn't actually make most of the wares, right? I helped. I know you helped, but you didn't make all of them. Well, you, no, yes. of course not. No. Um, if potentially they might have been in on it in some way, or have any extra information about. Any of do the I know or maybe how, have, or maybe they've been contacted since then? Do I know how the writ would have gotten to Hrathheim? 
<clears throat> like, did we just get like a letter in the mail that said like, hey, make these weapons and bring them to me? Uh, you would know that you, you received a, a, yeah, I mean, basically a writ of order with the seal of Aretheus on it. Um, it would have signed by him. It would have, it would have arrived. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's got a, it's got a genuine or it, what appeared to be a genuine yeah, yeah, seal. Yeah. We on. later learned it was faked by Phaedron, right? We found the same stamp in his office or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I wasn't laughing at you. <laughs> Dreaming in the chat was like, I like to imagine as well. <laughs> it made me chuckle. <laughs> I read it, but I didn't get it. <laughs> Imagination. Imagination. I I'm, I'm just curious because, um, again, if, if, if there's this large amount of obsidian, if you did claim to see the same spear, I wonder if it is actually the same spear or if maybe some more wares were ordered while you were gone. I don't know if you let them know that you were ambushed back home and not to make obsidian for anyone, or I, how much they know of what happened. You know, shockingly, that none of that has come across Drazad's thought processes <laughs> until now. And m mine either, until we just saw the same spear and I was thinking how That probably would have been there. a smart decision to... Oh, well, I couldn't have contacted them without physically going by boat back then, but yeah. now... Like might, two might weeks ago, would have probably been a good might idea. Might be worth, to, yeah, checking in on them. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> after we take a sleep. <laughs> after we take a sleep. Yeah, no. <laughs> after we take our first rest of the two day journey. Yeah, no, there's Adul definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That doesn't. Mm, mm. I literally had that thought, not even on break, like as we were sitting here, you're like, what else do you want to do? I'm like, what would I? And I was like, the spear. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Consider that. Like I, I would just be worried them. that no. they that they maybe have been asking for more. That um, Tilly with might not be going. Those are maybe the wares that you originally made, but maybe there's a larger stockpile somewhere else that he's having commissioned. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah, at some point I would sending like the Forge Masters in Hrafheim and just communicate that. <clears throat> um, Someone's after the obsidian. Yeah, like it's been a while. I'm chasing the obsidian. Um, it was stolen from us, um, and it's being used for some kind of nefarious, like, evil magic purposes that we aren't fully sure of yet. Um, so if there's any, um, what's it called? Like, if there's any orders. operations, not the word. If there's any, not even orders, but if there's any... Requests. Inquiries or requests. Like, I would them. halt obsidian production in the country completely. Mm. To external sources. Yeah, least. like, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, make a persuasion check. Okay. I actually don't know. Is it plus two? Uh, nope. Fourteen. Fourteen. stuff in the chat. Um, we got some D4s. Seventeen. And he used his reaction begrudgingly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see your you... dice either because it's reflecting yeah. from the... <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. No telling what that was. Yeah, absolutely cannot. You, you hear back um, after sending your, your uh, magic through the ether across the continent to the other side. Perhaps there's even a bit of a delay. But you do eventually hear... Thank you for your report, Drazad. You're doing good work. But I'm sure you're aware we are forge masters. Our livelihood banks on our export of weapons, armor, and other crafted goods. We cannot simply halt obsidian production but we can at least try to do a better job of vetting vetting our clientele. And your little PS at the end will be like, oh, and by the way, I, great idea that someone told me about. We should collect payment up front from these before we start making the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. 
<laughs> a sound business practice, to be sure. Yeah, that, and we are forge masters, not businessmen. We, yeah. <laughs> you, you hear back, they we say, all you the didn't collect get. payment first? <laughs> and you're like, I mean, <laughs> just make no, sure I, that other people I are doing that. I definitely did that. <laughs> yeah. Just would make sure everyone gets the memo. <laughs> yeah. It just came up in casual conversation. <laughs> I'm trying to remember already. Had y'all been paid for that? I This was no, like first session no, stuff. And uh-uh. I haven't thought about it since. So <laughs> That was part of his big upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah we had yeah, never. Yeah. Why he went there. Got Because like, I, like, I remember being like, well, collect. they already paid for it. And <laughs> you're like, no, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit. Right, right, right. Okay. Cool. So with that, the rest of your travel goes smoothly. And you eventually see Tirith on the horizon. Uh, backed by a number of very tall mountains uh, framing a uh, a steep valley. Uh, From this distance, you can even uh, see some buildings perched atop uh, some of those mountains in the distance in the Sojit Empire. Uh, And as you land the ship... All uh, right, Liam, this is your stop. Just toss him over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> it was s- nice to meet you. So glad they didn't have to kill you. you. Have a great day. <laughs> we spend a little bit of time so the ship can cool off and then. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I would like to pull Liam aside before he goes and and pull out his uh his scarf, his scarf and needles, mm-hmm. and tell him like, don't think I'll be a weaver, but uh. Never say never. I did, it's hard I to did, say what I did what you fate said. has in store. I did what you said, and uh, I think I, I see your way now. But this, this is yours. Make one last persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> or is it deception? I mean, you, you decide, I guess. About what? If you see a way. <laughs> oh, no, it's persuasion. <laughs> Only well we're here. It's mm. where there's a will, there's a way. Ha! 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 <laughs> Very clever. I'm so funny. Not crazy. Uh, 15. I would be glad to have you in our ranks. We can use the help. I will be sure to tell the Oracle of what I witnessed. And hopefully, together, we can save Benara and the rest of the continent at large. Safe travels, friends. You too, and I give him like the predator handshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and as he begins walking towards the town, Drazad, you begin to go to work uh, casting mending on the uh, the ship's inner workings, yep. trying to get I them ready to fly mending. again. Yeah, both of you. I forgot you have that. Yeah. Um, still. I won't be. Um, <laughs> I will I will be <laughs> casting Maze Hand and handing y'all tools. <laughs> I, like oh, yeah, I can ritual oh, cast yeah. Unseen Servant. And... So yeah, Kraloth yeah. is still not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. he's, yeah. sitting, he's sitting with his I'm feet I'm concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> I am focused. He's like sitting in a lawn chair with a drink. Yeah. Every, every now and then I'll cast Friends on one of y'all and tell y'all how good of a job y'all oh are doing. Oh my god, no. And then, like, and then like 30 minutes later you're like, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just use That's my goggles bitch. charming after. Yeah, right. <laughs> While our adventurers are uh, making sure the ship is flight worthy, I'm going to go ahead and end our giveaway and see who Ooh. won. Ship shape in Bristol fashion. Well, I need to figure out how to do it first. I can't do that. Yeah, same. My, oh, you just did it. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Uh, you're sticking your tongue too far out further back. All right, now actually drum roll. <laughs> Justin! Hey! That's awesome. Hey. Justin, yeah. congratulations. Uh, I the guess company... now you just have to come here. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to come and yeah, get it. you have to come collect come your pry price. it from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> now, the company's actually handling shipping, and because they are based overseas, it may take a little bit of time. It took, uh, I think, about a month for this one to show up, but... I will uh, pass your information along to them. Uh, you have beautiful. my you have my information. Mm-hmm. Shoot me a message with whatever address I need to pass along to them for them to uh, ship it, and we'll get that sent out to you, buddy. Awesome! Yes. Oh Congrats! God, what is Congrats! Um, you good? Yeah, my like I keep twitching like crazy. Mm. After some time spent mending the ship and giving the components <laughs> ample time to rest. Because it's not just the mending of the metal. It is the cooling of the, the mithril components as well. Oh, there's some ice daggers in there. 
<laughs> no, I don't have a beard. <laughs> I'm still not doing anything. Valoth, you, you retake the helm and begin to pilot the ship. Make North. one more survival check for me. See how uh, well you I'm can ascertain you the so direction. I'm giving you yeah. tips on I, I how I did so well I'm, I'm proficient in ships. Do I, yes. I add... And I wasn't before. That's why I didn't ask. Uh, 18. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with your, with your 18, you're able to lift the ship off and ascertain the direction quite easily. Just looking North, you can see a, a body of water, uh, off to your right, uh, that you know to be, uh, uh near West where me keep is. And you begin to, Pilot in the into that direction. However, uh, you you leave in the morning, and on the eve of that first day of travel. <laughs> oh, Eve. Uh oh. Have we tested to see if the camera's still echoey? This is the first day. Yeah, of travel I fixed it. After. Oh. Also, did we get a long rest? Oh, oh, we, oh yeah. We got oh, we got oh, 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 you guys oh, yeah. say those things. I'm still oh. beat that shit from <laughs> yeah, it took two, yeah, two days from to get to Tirith. So yeah. got to just make sure. I say those things. You either got two long rests or two <laughs> points of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> you tell Your me. Choice, yeah. I got two long rests. <laughs> I um, leveled up actually. Oh wow, me too. Um, <laughs> I leveled up twice. Crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm level ten, so <laughs> I hate you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On the eve of that first day of travel, the atmosphere becomes very dense and swallows you into a gray yeah. mist that's very difficult to see through. Valoth, as you pilot the ship, you maneuver it higher, but uh, that vantage only affords you the ability to see a number of uh, tall elven structures poking out through the uh, clouded, uh, grounded clouds beneath you. What would you like to do? How how long have we been traveling after leaving uh, Terrasil? Just or? about a day. Would I know that to put us? Because so it's misty, right? Yeah. Mist keep. Mm -hmm. A lot of the carn of the mist. A lot of mist stuff going around. Steve. Yeah. So like, <laughs> are we are we I'm near where mist keep theme. would be? Like, would I think this to be it? And also like, there were elves with your survival check. Probably it was also actually a 19. This, I forgot my proficiency is a three, not a two. With your 19 survival check, this seems like it could be mist keep, unless the name is a mist gnomer. Oh my god, <laughs> I like it. I turn around. Uh, what, what cities do you have prepared? We're going to one that you yeah. don't. Everyone, <laughs> turn this ship around, sir. Uh, 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 look directly uh, into the camera and just shake your head. <laughs> we have, we have, we're, it. look. We are on a time crunch because <laughs> I gotta bury my man. <laughs> That's true. So yeah. is he still on the ship? Yeah, yeah he's, he's still on the ship. You gotta, you gotta to cast. Be he's the whole ship. front um, of. He's on the front of. But the yes, ship. Valoth. You're I mean, supposed to be preserving his body. You may not know You're exactly like, where Miskeep is, but you definitely feel like you've you've smell? gotten there faster than you imagined. <laughs> <laughs> but Drizzle. elven structures, lots of mist. Do I see any elves in the elven structures from the ship? Make a perception check. I'm glad I needed one more spell to stock, and now I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, Six. 21. Okay. With your 21, you can see uh, some people uh, residing in a couple of the elven structures as you kind of like weave through these towers, maybe slowing the ship a little bit to gain a better vantage. Um, you see maybe an elf. But there, there are other individuals of various races, uh, uh, humans, genasi, uh, gnomes. Thanks, Justin. And thank they, you. Do they look like Justin? They, thank you, man. Thank you. Do they look like they see us? Uh, certainly. I mean, the ones that you pass near on the tower, they're they're like looking out at you. Uh, some of them actually duck back uh, behind windows. So before one of them ducks, I want to like. I guess it, shoot him. Another question: <laughs> ah, <laughs> am, I within, am I within 120 feet of any of them at any point? Uh, you can get that close. You're steering the ships. So. Yeah, I would like to and message one of the the elves as we as we fly by and say, "Is this miskeep?" You would hear back. This is Ardale. 
Is that on the map? It is not on the map that you currently have. Mm. Oh, I don't like think you will be on our way. No, <laughs> last time we went to Miskeep, we turned our donkey into a boat. That is true. <laughs> we wrote it. What well, was after? It was after. It was when we left. Oh, that's oh we also have to understand. We also have to realize that this also could be an illusion. This is this is Ardale, as they're telling me. This is not Miskeep. Ardale. As we fly by another tower, I'm going to message a different person. Wait, I'm going to say, how far are we from Mistkeep? Since I'm really good with maps, would I have any idea that this, like, should be Mistkeep? Or are we off? Make a, a survival bit? check. Thanks. Can I make a history check? You, you can. can. make any check we uh, want, what, what are you doing it for? I want to know if this is a city that I've ever read of in history books. Okay. An elven city. Sure. What was your survival? 15. Okay. Uh, you're definitely headed in the right direction, but you, uh, similar to Valoth, this doesn't feel like it would be Mistkeep. You, you got here mm. too quickly. And but you said you're messaging Misty, someone else. Right? Just the next person I can get while we're kind of like flying through. And what was your question? Um, how far are we from Mistkeep? That's still, that's still quite a ways, but you won't be able to get there right now. Oh, no, you're going to get me stuck in that accent. I'll turn the ship so that I stay within 120 feet, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna message back again and say, "Why wouldn't we be able to get there now? We're in a flying ship." I I, I don't mean no disrespect by it, sir. I'm I'm sorry, but it's impossible to get there now. You'd, you'd have to wait at least uh, a day. Hi. Maybe to nightfall. Be best to ask best to ask someone here. Uh, I'll keep casting as much as they need so they can tell me whatever they need to tell me. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. message, I think, is only like Should 25 words or whatever. No, it's sending little... messages unlimited. Should we oh, just go sweet. bring our little boat over there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get stuck in that accent. God damn it, Alex. <laughs> oh, You're no. I mean, I'll be relaying all this to you guys. Sending is unlimited because sending is only, it's capped at 25 because you can, it's uh, forever distance. Can, yeah. Best best talk about uh, that to, to Vinlay. She'd be able to tell you more precisely. Okay. Do, do I see where the structures like end? Yeah. That are poking through. Reasonably I'd like. So. I'd like to traditional, go a little ways out from there. Okay. If everyone's okay with it, maybe we land here, yeah. ask some questions. Yeah. You're driving. Continue on if 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 we want. Well, I mean, the, I would trust the locals to tell us whether or not we can get there, as long as maybe this one can detect their thoughts if they're being truthful. Sure. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think once we're on the ground, it'll be easier to, to tell yeah, whether they're for sure. Or not. Drazad really thinks this is all an illusion, and we are falling for something. Well, uh, wouldn't again, be the first time. Yeah, that's why I'm getting us Definitely a little ways won't out. Be the last. So <laughs> once I'm a little ways out, I know it's very cloudy and there's like mm -hmm. trees and stuff. So like, we have a whole extra day worth of travel in this thing. I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about like overheating the engine or anything. I am setting this down as slowly as possible and like okay. avoiding any trees, any. Anything bad that that may be for for where we're landing? Solid, okay. sturdy ground, no marshland, no swamp. Yeah. Uh, again, with I will your, retake with off your, and yeah, find a sturdier spot if we need to. With your ample survival check, you're able to find uh, enough of a clearing for you to set the the tree down. But sorry, the the ship sure. down. But there is very dense tree cover, uh, and so you're you're sort of sandwiched in there. Not not too different from uh, when you landed near Red Bastion. Uh, Red Bastion is <clears throat> where we saw the ghosts. Yes. No. Oh. That's where you met Matavi. That was right after we saw the ghost. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, and so the, the Copper Griffin descends into the dense fog, blanketing the elvish settlement, and an eerie atmosphere uh, envelops you. <laughs> you set down no sooner than you notice shadows moving through the mist as curious faces begin to emerge from beyond a gray curtain with lanterns <clears throat> casting a soft glow in the distance. I'm ready. He appears beautiful, but hauntingly. I was so. gonna say I'm ready to like pull thrusters down, back the fuck out of here. <laughs> what? What was, the, what was the name you said? The elf said that we needed to talk to. Ardenia. Uh, Vinlay. 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 Oh. The place is Ardenia. Uh, oh. V e n l a e. Mm -mm. No, that's too hard to spell. We can good. Mm -mm. V e n l a e. Yeah, we're not about. Then we're not gonna fight guy. him. Yeah. We're gonna <laughs> fight him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Uh. You guys are all still on board the ship. Yeah, I'm not. What would you like off. to do? I'm yeah. staying near the helm again, like ready to stop what I'm about to say that I'm doing to take off should things <laughs> okay. go sideways. But I would like to begin ritual casting uh, detect magic. Okay. 
uh, you begin to cast your spell and you see uh, some of those uh, shadows and lights begin to uh, maneuver a bit closer to the ship. Um, still somewhat formless, mm-hmm. uh, but definitely getting closer. We're getting off? No. Wait a second. Oh, why would we get off there? Yes. I'm, I'm creatures. making sure that this is not an illusion or anything else. Did you tell we... us that you were talking to someone? Yeah, I was relaying the whole conversation. Okay. Yeah. Um, then I'll, like, call out while I see him trying to do Valoth things. Um, be like, we're, we don't we don't mean harm. We're, we're just trying to get to Miss Keep. Can someone tell us the way? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take something from the chat. <laughs> 19. We're still holding on to that nat 20. Yeah, we are. You wait for a response. You wanted a nat 20. And as you crane your ears, your surroundings fall silent. You think you might hear whispers. Don't like that. And then... You hear a, an reverse, ear-shattering Harry. scream uh, emanate from all around you. I need all of you to make. I believe it's a con save. Oh, give me a one. Give me one Back second. It to up, double Terry. Check. Is this against being Back charged? Back it up, Terry. No. Back it up, Terry. Uh, you said uh, con. con he thinks it's con. Yeah, he's double checking. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to look at my portents to see what I had. <laughs> I. On my trip, I got bit up by like the little sand gnats or whatever they're called. They're all oh, over. That's it. All is it is a con save? Exactly. You said nat twenty for nat 20. 21. Seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Okay, all of you save. Woo. Um, as you feel your eyes damage. begin to roll to the back of your head, but you don't you die. maintain can't sleep. your your, uh, your focus. Uh, and I need all of you to yeah. roll initiative. Yeah. Do I immune. get my reaction of like? Because this would be something of like I'm, reverse, I'm getting Terry. I'm getting out. The minute I hear that scream, <laughs> oh, uh, sure. my I held mean, action of yeah, getting back out. Back it up, yeah, Terry. You yeah. can do that. Back it up, Terry. To, to fly He's the shit back, back out of the back up, Okay. We got a D twenty in the chat. Let me roll that real quick. Cause his daddy Ooh. taught him good. Ooh, seventeen. I'm rolling nothing but fives and twenties on this dice. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Valoth, what'd you get? A seven. Okay. And odd. Eleven. Oh Eleven. Oh Trazad. What's wrong with me? Um, ten, 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 <laughs> ten, and Flora. Seven, seven. Hey, hey. All I know is well, Morgan's trying to roll. Over you here. have seven too. Do you? No, you didn't. I roll an advantage, and I did not roll two? good. I have a fourteen dice plus two. Yeah. You go before me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to our battle cam. Oh, uh, we shouldn't man. have an echo anymore. But let so us know good. if we do. Yeah, please, please let us know. Wait, what? If oh, we have yeah. the echo. 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 <clears throat> yeah, I didn't trust these people. Oh. We gonna die, baby. <laughs> no, it's just blue out here. Double D, double do. Uh, D, so double do. <laughs> no more lean. <laughs> Valoth, you're at the helm. Uh, and I imagine the rest of you are something like yeah, just on the ship. Yep, yeah. that, that looks right. Yep, and I put full thrusters down. No echo, yay! To get us up and out. Yeah, I thought that might fix it. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, I know what those are. I can't see you sure do. They're the little spirits from the last fight. Oh, from Nurgath. From Nurgle. Uh, so Valoth, as you uh, are first with your reaction, you reverse thrusters and the ship begins to lift off the ground. You're now uh, 30 feet above ground. Oh, we're um, fighting in the air. Well, oh, he is. Us out of there. Yeah. Um, but next is going to be that terrible creature that uh, made such a shout at you. Oh my god, is that a rust It monster? has a flying speed of 40 feet. <laughs> I know your cousin. My friends. <laughs> oh, no way. I know you. A Ah! shrieking ah! Uh, elven visage uh, appears upon the ship uh, and I need 
all of you to make a wisdom save this time. Is it against being charmed? Uh, It is against being frightened. Mm. Mm. I think I'm immune to that as a dragonborn. Ah, yes. Uh, That sounds right. Net 20, baby. And guess what the total is? A fucking 30. What? Dang. You have a plus 10 to those? I have a plus 9 and then a plus 1 because of something else. Oh, because of your cloak. My cloak. Uh, wisdom. Okay. <laughs> I got a I 22. I got a 30. 30? 22? 16? 16. We got stuff in the chat. And you still have your yeah. reaction. I don't have my reaction right yeah, now. Also, when my he, reaction when was he to get closed on me, I got a attack of opportunity. Okay. Because a, a pole arm mess. Make your attack. A 3 and a 1 and a 1. Um, I don't want to take the 17, but... I got a 22. Um, I don't have to worry about it. Gee, <laughs> man. I don't take, care. Take 30, 22, 16. They're debating um, on taking something. Oh, son of a... I'm going auc- I'm, I'm to arc- auctioneer you. Uh, uh, I'm going to... 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 22, 20. Uh, do, I, uh, do I hear 15? Like, yeah, do I hear 10? Uh, do I hear 5? <laughs> uh, do I hear 20? S- I'm taking the 17, 24. Okay. Ew, yeah. uh, all of you make your save as you uh. feel feel a, a, a deep sense of fear enter your heart, nearly forcing you to jump from the uh, the ship just to get away from this thing. Oh, thank God. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got a... I rolled a two. Yeah, I got a 26 <laughs> to hit. That will definitely hit. a 39 hit, hit Alex? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Get wrecked. Uh, I'm so plus. excited about my 30 save. Plus yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> I don't remember. The only Seven, thing I can get yeah. that on is wisdom. 12. 12. 12 points of damage. Okay. Whee. Yeah. yeah. As the staff jumps out of my hand and hits this thing. <laughs> and it is magical, so. Yep. Uh, as you uh, slam the staff into this uh, this banshee, uh, you see it move through her form. Uh, the, the loose clothing uh, and tattered robes that she wears almost fraying uh, against the blow. Uh, it is now your actual turn. What would you like to do? Um, Drazad, you're on deck. Oh, nice. Get that reaction back immediately. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Effective, efficient. It is very efficient. Oh man. Meta game I think I'm actually. Oh no, he. She he screamed a couple times. She screamed this once. It well ago. screamed once with a effect, yeah, and then continued to, to scream for that's flavor. That. Exactly. <laughs> <That. laughs> okay. Throat chop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm thinking about no. doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's, it's Judo chop. <laughs> how big is the ship? How big is the ship, Alex? Uh, it's thirty big. feet front to back. Yeah, it's about that big. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, big. Yeah. I am going to cast silence on right where we're standing, so that it covers the front half of the ship. Okay. But like people that are on the back deck can still cast spells. Got it. Uh, I appreciate you. Now Thank the ship you. is is moving, so you may move out of that silence if you're not targeting the ship itself. You target you know I mean? a spot. Yeah, yeah. So you can not, target something on the ship. And that's it, what it I was with trying to yeah. do. Yeah. Oh right. So you're targeting. Silence doesn't follow. What is the one that follows? Darkness. Oh, darkness. Darkness is on an that's object right. and it goes wherever the object goes. So yeah. Anyway, you're yeah. avoiding casting it so that Valith can still correct. Cast. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Silence doesn't follow. I think so. silence does not. Silence is on an area. Oh, okay. The area I'm casting on is the front deck of the ship. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then a uh, bonus action. Disengage. <laughs> it doesn't have to. You hit it. Or no, you're about to hit it. No, no, no. no. That was my action to cast silence. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to give somebody. Bardic. Oh no, I'm a hex. I'm a curse. I'm gonna start beating okay. my drum and I'm a hex blade curse this thing. You see, uh, green energy begin to weave into its blue ethereal form uh, as your uh, your your hex blades curse sets in, and we move on to Drazad. What would you like to do? Um, <clears throat> I'm assuming move back to the back of the ship where Valoth is, so I can cast a spell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. No. 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 Uh, no. I. I have plenty of movement to get back there. Probably don't want to be super close to that thing anyway. Yeah, no. Um, and I <laughs> I like will... that it's perched at an angle, so you're like peering around <laughs> <Yeah>. the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I can see you. <laughs> um, 
Gotta pet that dog. Chris <laughs> Otto kind of point at the banshee and be like, I've never seen that. What is that before? And he'll just like key blast and use guiding bolt. <laughs> okay. Nice. Roll two hits, sir. Does a 22 hit? That definitely does. Ooh, nice. Perfect. I want to roll real dice. I don't feel like this Yeah. Yeah. Real ones. <laughs> um, Ooh. Nice. 13. 18 points of radiant damage. Hell yeah. Okay. Nice. As the radiant light intermingles with that green energy and the blue opalescent structure of this form, uh, you see the the light cascade through the mist, actually making it, uh, it a bit harder to see for a moment. Uh, but as uh, your vision returns, uh, you see that its form is still there, although uh, a bit diminished. Does and it is. It look- can't hear me, but I'll look at it and go. <laughs> <laughs> it is now the careful turn. Careful! As soon as that silence yeah. drops, it'll power word kill your ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we, that's what we lost our last cleric. Uh, I feel this like Drizzt needs to have a feature there. called taunt. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> These things have like fifty feet of fly speed. Um. Shit. Yeah, I get another attack opportunity. Ah, you do because my turn. Came up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's late. Yep. Who goes next in the initiative order? Is it you or 18 you? to hit that thing? Uh, 18 does not hit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. No, it okay. uh, already went. one of us. Uh, Flora, you're next. No, he has a higher deck. I'm just saying what it uh, has in here. Okay. Oh. Whoever's next has wow. advantage on its deck. Wow. not hit those little things. Does a because they're small. Yeah, we does a twenty two hit you? It does not because I flourished them when I swung at the other guy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, So as you uh, lash out, it nimbly swirls around your staff and tries to shock you, but you bring your shield up and sort of bite, uh, uh, slam the bolt away just before it bites into you. Uh, Flora, it's your go, Valoth. You're on deck. Okay, then I'm you gonna... just barely missed. I have a 23 right now. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really good roll for it. Yeah. I'm surprised it missed, but oh well. I'm down there. Yeah. I'd have to get up to be within range of it. Uh, Melee range? Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. I know I can. How long does silence last? Is that... Is that silence like lasts for oh, it's a 10 while. Minutes. Yeah, it's 10 a while. A while. A while. <laughs> Why are you pronouncing the A so hard? Gonna, um, <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> Whip cream. I'm gonna Whip. Cool. Whip. twirl my staff around my head. Okay. And point it to the sky. <gasps> Hell yeah. Yeah. Um. Is that a spell? Yep. So. Does it have verbal components? Oh, you're gonna you have, have to back. move out of silence to be able oh, to do it. Oh, am I in it? Okay, yeah. I didn't realize. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's all good. Then. Um, so yeah, big clouds <laughs> swirling above me, and then I'm going to point out one thing, um, when the Banshee has to make deck save. Okay. As um, you can see, there are clouds on the table. Yeah. So. <laughs> There's about to be even more. Yeah. So does that mean... No, I picked one point within the clouds. Oh. I yeah. thought that's well, there's an that extra spell, die of damage, right? I thought that spell stipulated an extra die of damage if there's a cloud. Oh, so good oh on the if there's stormy conditions. Yeah, oh, looks pretty does. stormy to me. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. I forgot about that part. Yeah. I, that's what I was just looking at. I was like, is it something about clouds like, or something that does yeah, yeah. it? So as uh, Flora begins to cast this spell, you see not necessarily a darkening over, or a cloud cover overhead, but a darkening. Um, and lightning begins to just cascade through the mist itself, arcing in uh, random areas until some of it leaps out at the Banshee. Uh, and this Banshee uh, is not going to make that save with a 13. points Ooh. of lightning damage. Hell yeah. Krakow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as the lightning cascades across the Banshee's form, you actually see that it is strike. somewhat... Less affected than you'd expect. <laughs> you need me to move. Oh, got it. Alex, okay. when and if you make this into a short, please, I'm please so use Lightning McQueen. For this. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, that broke me so easily. You guys ever seen Lightning in a Banshee fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valoth, I believe it's your go, unless you're doing something else. Um, no, I don't think I can do anything else. Okay, Valoth, what would you like to do? 
Um, kill some stuff. Uh, <gasps> so how does moving the ship work? Is that my action, reaction, bonus action, free action? I'm gonna say it's your action. My the action. The, the banshee. Why? The next attack roll still has advantage because yeah, she didn't have to roll an attack roll. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to roll an attack roll either okay. with what I was oh, well, there you go, on doing. I think it's only melee attacks, right? Yeah. It's attack rolls. Oh, okay. Because um, they're like lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Not the, uh, yeah, but like if I have a spell that. You see um, Valoth yeah. pausing the ascent for a second to take his hands as he, he kind of like, oh, I don't have the staff right now. <laughs> but you see a, 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 a shining pillar appear between his hands as a maul appears. Ooh. As he takes it and he throws it. <laughs> yeah! As he throws it. I'm going to try it again. I love this spell. Uh, he's going for one of the spirits. Okay. They have to make a dex save. I don't think they're going to make it. Are you doing the one that's next to Odd? Yeah. Because it's 30 feet. That's the only one I can reach. Oh, it's actually got really high dex. Fuck. 18? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> you got port. I'm gonna port that to a two on the dice. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so it is a eleven. Sweet. Got a that plus not... nine to dex. Jesus. Yeah, I was worried I was gonna port it, and you're like, it's better. And I'm like, fuck, did it? <laughs> no. Um. So this is. I did upcast it, and up, I believe it's base with two d eight, and I upcast it so that's three d eight. Right. Yeah. Base two. Okay. So it takes 19 magical bludgeoning damage and then half as much radiant, which is Ooh, nine. nine. So yeah. that is 20. And Sam, that's enough to kill it. it. Oh. <laughs> so it, it, it hits move? and then it just stops right there. <laughs> <laughs> it can move 15 feet, I think is what Alex has it in here after. Oh, but it's only taking one attack per turn, right? No, it shims, sheds dim light 15 feet. One attack per turn, but now it stays, and I can use my bonus action to do it again. Okay. As long as it kills something. Oh, so it's like, okay. Yeah. It's cool. Not spiritual. So as you, Odd, you see out of the corner of your eye, Notice. at the last second, a radiant maul spinning end over end. As you move just out of the way, it collides with the, uh, the wisp that just sort of evaporates uh, as it glows with a renewed radiance uh, and stays put in front of you, uh, almost like a stoic I look at defender. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> uh oh yeah. Battle, battle just gives a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, with that, it is now the Banshees go, and... It is not going to get um scream. Hmm. Yeah, it's just gonna make an attack. It doesn't get uh advantage on you now. They get wrecked. That is a sixteen to hit. Nope. Nope. As it lashes out, uh you bash bat its uh frail fingers away from uh from your chest. As it now falls to your turn, what would you like to do? Oh wreck. Um so I didn't get to describe my silence. It's a concentration spell. So um, when I cast it, I started beating the drum and it makes this low rumble. And as I pulled my hands away, spectral hands stay on the drum, beating it into making this constant little droning sound that's just drowning out all other sound. Oh, nice. So that's still going on right now. And as I reach back with the staff, I start spinning it, and I come in for some attacks on the bands. Okay. Um, I have advantage, right, on the first one? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's going to be a 14 plus 8 it is 22. That will definitely hit. Yep. <laughs> okay, so that's 11 plus 7. Um, 11 plus 7 plus 12. 21. 21? <laughs> yes, 21 points of damage. Okay. Uh, three of that is... Three of that is necrotic? No, it's just three extra damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I take a second swing on this thing. Well, as you connect with this first swing, you just see it... <gasps> it's like wispy. Yep. Oh, it's gone? <gasps> Damn. Interesting. You have three other wisps that are moving up towards the, the bow of the ship, but, but they are on the ground currently. Oh. They have 50-foot fly, so... 
I can't. They're getting to do us. Anything else? I don't think. I have a javelin. I can throw a javelin. I can electrocute him. Oh yeah. And you'll just, have your reaction on one of them. They're they're coming up. Yeah, they're, they're I'll throw a javelin on another one. Okay. Make an attack roll. Not good at that. Not that's so good at that. Oh. Uh, uh, that's gonna be twenty-one. Uh, with your twenty-one, you are able to hit. Yes. Woo-hoo. For seven. But that's not magic. Got it. Uh. Yeah, so they're only going to take half of that. Okay. As your javelin goes through uh, the spirit, it it, it uh, you predict its movements, and so you're able to strike it, uh, but it appears to sort of... Uh, the javelin just appears to go straight through it because it's, it's somewhat incorporeal. Okay. Uh, uh, and then I will turn around and say wink at a uh, Drizod, which okay. you can't hear it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you can just say wink. Yeah. <laughs> he can see the wink. So instead of winking, you mouth wink at him, though. <laughs> Drizod, it is your go. What would you, you like to do? Oh, I have one. Okay. Yeah. I have one. Okay. Um, you can hold an action. Yeah. For when things fly up and over. Yeah, I guess that's what I would do, is I would just... I'll hold... Uh, I'll hold sacred flame, <clears throat> anticipating they okay. to start boarding. And as you anticipate, they do. Uh, one pops up here. Light them up, Drizzati. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna swing on that one too. <clears throat> okay. With my reaction. So who's who's going first? Because the first one that moves is the one that's been slightly damaged already. I'll swing at that one. I'm, okay. Right. You wanna you go, Drizzati. Try and hit that one. Deep in thought over there. Jeez. I was like, who would it's, they, go they first make a save, huh? Yeah. Eyes oh, rolled yeah. back it's so a, far that you can see your thoughts. It's a dexterity it's a save. Dex, save. <laughs> dex save from them. I was going over the link, the vocabulary in my brain uh, of like. A 15. That's not enough, right? No, his is lower. The, no, my dex save is a 15. Yeah, so that, that makes it. It makes so it. Just it. Made. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. You'll see like a bright column of light go to like. It begins to come down on it and then. D- d- just, <laughs> it diminishes yeah, it right as the down. spirit uh, gets there. Okay, I'll hit that one. Yeah, go for that one. <laughs> yeah, that was, I was marking it for yeah. you. Uh, that's that's uh, dirty silence. 20. Okay, uh, 20 hits it. Nice. I think, yeah, I think they have a 19 AC or something Three, crazy like that. Jesus. 8 and 8. Uh, they're small. They're 15, small 15 yeah. Points yeah. Okay. Uh, 15, it is still up. Mm. Uh, that not, was magical damage. Not looking great. Okay. Um, so this one is going to continue to fly around. And this one has 50 feet. It can get up. That's about 30. Yeah, we're 30 up. And then here is 60. So it's... Well, no, the whole ship is 30. 30. Yeah. So it can get to And aren't we 30 foot off the ground, though? So isn't it 30 it is, to the bottom it, of the it, ship? It and then use. You're right. So it'd be about here, then. It'll stay there, uh, but these two wisps are both going to make you. attacks on us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first is a nat twenty. That, well, that that'll hit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Second is two nat twenties. <laughs> Those are, are you serious? <laughs> Those are okay, good. Val joking. Val is wow. balancing him about to get pummeled. Is like I rolled three nat twenties out of four dice rolls wow. just now. What's she's a fun? slightly <laughs> she's a slightly better but still good. 14 and the 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 one of those nat 20s is going to be a 14. Uh so it's an 18 total. It doesn't hit. That doesn't. Okay. Okay. No. So you'll get nat 20 <laughs> you'll by be like, you'll be like uh, it's good but odd can take it. <laughs> the chance of rolling 3 d20s and, and hitting all nat 20 on all of them. 1 in 8000. We get is it really? Yeah. yeah. You got to factor just did it. <laughs> you got to factor in the red dice. You'll never do it oh, again. It's, it's a higher probability because like of the red 4, dice. 000, yeah. Yeah. You'll never do it again. You're going to take 24 points of lightning damage oh, oh, as Jesus. this spirit uh, uh, arcs into you. Uh, you you keep your eye on the other uh, and as that arc begins to leap out at you, you see Valoth from across the ship just uh, in time able to uh, basically maneuver the mall in front of it. Maneuver the mall in front of it, yeah. <laughs> Um, concentration is half of that. 
Yeah. 12? Yeah. So I got to beat a 12, right? I do not. Oh, silence. Silence, silence is gone. Yeah. We have things in the chat. If you want to take nah, uh, yeah. The thing that was shrieking is dead. I was actually going to ask him if he still was holding concentration. Uh, yeah, this not last not one's going to no make more. an attack as well, but it's going to be a straight roll. No flanking on that. Okay. What a hard life. That's a two. Dude, that. I saw it. It that was almost, was almost a, 20. a 20. I saw the 20 It was very close to another 20. I was like, dude. Get wrecked. Alex, <laughs> Get that red dice out of here. I'm going to buy you new dice. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, sure. No, buy him sure. the same dice. So uh, he doesn't know that you've replaced them. <laughs> you need them. new dice. <laughs> I'm going to fuck with him. If you need, need new dice, ones. come to our sponsor. And get yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll start rolling this and see, yeah. see how it goes. Uh, Flora, it's your go. And Valoth, you're on deck. Silence is dropped. Okay. Um, oh, we have three wisps. Yeah, there's three on the ship. Yeah, one of them Are is very badly two damaged. within five feet of each other? Yes. Great. I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Pick a spot. Between. Nice. Okay. Oh, I forgot it does wow. that. Yeah, it does yeah. that. You pick a point. They can hit four spaces. If mm. you so want. they both have to roll deck saves. Against lightning damage? Roll a yeah. deck save. Okay. Is it thunder or lightning? Uh, oh, an 11 huh? and a 22. Probably no, immune. they're not resistant. <laughs> they're immune. They're immune. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Try it. Try it. Go for I'm it. sorry. Don't fuck him up. <laughs> was, I don't know what that. I don't know. You either. need to pick up the meta magic feet six. on your next, so you can so you yeah. can change the damage type. Or so you can just bypass with the uh, elemental death. Yeah. Wait, is it? Twenty-four. Just as one of the orbs uh, completes its attack against Odd, pulls it, pulling its lightning back in, you arc your own lightning into it, and it just absorbs it into its form. Unaffected completely. Mm. Valoth, okay. it is your go. Unless, uh, sorry. I'm just trying to keep it moving. I'm sorry. I know. I'm going to... She can speak now. Silence isn't up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we can hear it, Flora. I can cast a cantrip. You didn't technically yes. you didn't even cast that spell. I think you can. Yeah, you can still cast, cast a spell. spell even if you want yeah. to. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can do that. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. So then, I forget that I can do that. Okay. Yeah, because um, you're maintaining on the current spell. Well, too. I'm gonna drop concentration on that because that's not getting me anywhere. But then I'm going to shoot my hand out straight in front of me towards. <sighs> The wind just blew and yeah. scared Fritz. Um, towards those two over there. Okay. Um, they both have to make a strength save. Ah, uh, now we're talking. Now we're now we're in their wheelhouse. <laughs> One rolled a nat twenty for a total of fifteen. Jeez. Okay. And the oh, other rolled a two. Okay, so they both fail, um, and they're both pushed fifteen feet away okay um and it says it disperses gas or vapor and it extinguishes candles torches or similar flames so if either cool. of them are gas or vapor they're dispersed they're, they're dispersed. dispersed i like it i like the idea go ahead and roll roll 3d6 for me yes sir. because they're not necessarily that but they're i like how you think but we like it yeah 3d6? Yes. Cool. 11. Okay. They are each going to take 11 points nice. of damage. Thank you. We'll call that. it magical, magic, magic bludgeoning damage. Magic bludgeoning. As they I like bounce that. around against each other. <laughs> uh, are you done? Uh, it says a creature in the line must spend two feet of movement for every one foot it moves when moving closer to me. So it has half, Got it. half damage to get in that line. Half, so half movement, half yeah. 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 yeah so it Was that gust of wind? Yes, yeah. it's uh, 60 feet That's long cool. and 10 feet wide. Nice. So okay. That Dif is difficult now terrain to go that way. Yeah. Towards me. Towards yes. you. Yeah. Yes. That's neat. Uh, Valoth, it is your go. That. Thank you. What would you like to do? Um, Those two little... Well, okay, so first he's going to use his bonus action mm -hmm. and take his hand and whip them all back, deck save from that other one. I know they're good at it, but... They are, but... Might as well. That is 16. I thought it sounded weird. It must not have latched. Whenever, Whenever we, we came inside, we must yeah. not have latched. Oh, it. Yeah. Go. Oh, it was open? Oh, Go. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to use the... I'm not... Hold on. 
felt like the pressure change and Hold I felt on. like a gust of wind and I was like, I think the doors open. I feel like you I'm not I'm not saying it was aliens. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? But it was aliens. Our front door got blown um, open by the wind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna silvery barbs. Let's okay. save. <laughs> Outside. I'm gonna give you Mabel advantage. Was, Mabel's on the porch. <laughs> yeah. Mabel was like, this is my time shine. He did it again. He rolled better. <laughs> well, he, oh, he still oh. takes a 16, but he saves. Yeah. So, like, uh, save or suck, oh, so the mall does God. nothing, right? Correct. So it's gonna um, disappear. Yeah. And then Valoth is gonna extend a, a hand and just cast Firebolt at the one that's next to yeah. you. No, the one that's far out. The One of the ones that's far out. He's okay. Far out, one. bro. Sorry for that chaotic moment, guys. Uh, oh, it's all good. I don't think that's gonna hit. It's a sixteen. I can't believe it blew our sixteen door. does not hit. I missed my plus eleven. <laughs> Honestly, that's and as I miss it. as we round out the initiative, <laughs> and we move back to the top of the order, uh, you see yet another gust of wind <laughs> push out from the opposite direction as the wisps are basically uh, pushed into the mist as some of that mist now disperses and you see a, a pathway forward uh, towards uh, a humanoid figure. Uh-oh. The fog clears slightly as one individual appearing quite ghastly themselves with pale white skin and short blonde hair steps forward wearing simple robes. They're on the ground or they're floating? They're on the ground. Okay. They look up to your ship. Hi. <laughs> this person. I'm just not out there. Just oh. random people in flying ship. Come, travelers. Nights such as these are not safe on the outskirts. Oh, he dispersed the wisps. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He okay. dispersed the mist, and the wisps kind of trailed off into it. I'll look to everyone, like looking for like, are we? Am I putting the ship back down? Because we're like thirty feet in the air right now. I mean. Reed is mine. Are we on? I can cast. Yeah, okay. This is day two, calls. isn't it? This, is, uh, this is day one. The end of day one. Uh, but you can. I can You're just getting the surface level of thoughts? Of yeah. Me casting just gust of wind thing. and our door blowing open. That's wild. <laughs> they don't know. Who does? Like, we don't know? Like, you don't know something that you, you weren't supposed to uh, be you know, here? Uh-huh. Land the ship in the outskirts. Mm. Uh, I'll say, are you friend? I believe I am to be. I was told by a friend in Ardale, some outsiders were setting the ship down on the outskirts, looking to make their way to Mistkeep. Should we leave the ship here or take it with us? It'll be safe here. It's kind of, kind of. Uh, I like our ship. Yeah, we just, we just fixed it. I want, the, I, want, I want the surface level thoughts of that kind of. Can I do insight by also kind of reading their mind? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we'll say advantage on the insight check then. Good. Would I? Would I know that? <laughs> <laughs> you saw his dice yeah. roll. <laughs> I don't think he did, uh, but 50, mine's on that one. <laughs> For a five. He seems genuine. He's come out into the mist and quelled the forces that Man, were fighting against us. you. Uh, I, I look at Val and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> would I know? Would I know that Ardell's not on the map? The, the map that we're used. Yeah. What to was seeing? your history check before? We never circled back to that. Roll it again. I think it was Boys. a nat twenty. I it think was, it was. It, it actually <laughs> made a face. It, it was, it it was three nat. It was three not twenties in a row. <laughs> no, it was right. a six and then seven, eight, and then I took a plus two and it was a ten altogether. That's you what haven't it heard was. of Ardale, mm-hmm. but there is a settlement that used to be called Lakewood. I remember that name. What do I know that name from? Well Lakewood's Probably first campaign. On the map. I don't remember Lakewood. Mm-hmm. So it must be This could system. be that. Maybe it's this. I okay. think these people are dead. There's okay. another one of those things. <laughs> I look over it. Like Ardell's a really old city. <laughs> I'm look. I'm all down for setting down mm-hmm. the ship, but I'm telling you, I'm still not convinced that this is not. Yeah, some I'm gonna set it down, and I'm gonna magic. begin ritual casting. Uh, dis- uh, detect, detect magic, magic again. Okay. Since I was interrupted last time, but I'm- as the ship sets down, um, am I okay to approach? Um, as long as you don't attempt to, you know. 
attack us. I'm here to help. Would they? Would, it's a mm. guy. It's a man. Uh, uh, what are they thinking about? Because it it stays on. Like, yeah. I can keep it on as like they're thinking surface level. I don't want to leave them out here alone. They have no idea. What? The what don't we have an idea about? He kind of glances over to you, surprised, uh, and his look of surprise turns uh, back into like almost a blank expression. You obviously don't know that Mistkeep is not available at all times of the day. And you certainly don't know the dangers of the outskirts of Ardale. Why is Ardale not on any of our maps? Perhaps your maps are old. Ardale used to be called uh, Lakewood a time ago. It was uh, a settlement for those looking to uh, get away. So Ardale's vacation spot? More or less. Uh, really? Believe it or not, it used to be quite sunny here. How what long ago did that change? Changed. Uh, roughly 40 years. Hmm. I wasn't here to see it then. So we need to lead the ship and come with you? All our puzzle pieces. You don't need to. <laughs> but I would urge you to do it. I've, I've come to usher you to asylum. I I trust him. When, when can we get to Miss Keep during the day? I'll, I'll message each one of y'all and tell y'all, like, this guy's on the level according to what he's thinking. Best to talk to Vinlay about that. Oh, you're not Vinlay? No, no, uh... My name is uh, Liaril. Cool. How do you spell that? L e a. Ah, it's close. I l. L e a. R i l. R i l. I was real close. No, we're not fighting her. That's too complicated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think you trust weather. Yeah. Well. Thank Where you. Where is Vinlay? Am I saying that right? I don't know, man. No, I'm, I'm double. I'm Ariel? Double. You made these Or Vinlay. Because Vinlay sounds right. Stop. I'm not <laughs> trying to be like that. Yeah. So, I just couldn't remember her name. It's Vinlay. What Vinlay. year yeah. are we in? Vinlay. Vinlay sounds right. Yeah, I forget what Three year it is. something after the scar? No. It's 164. 164. Oh, it, it, we are 164? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said 40 years ago, so one yeah, is <laughs> yeah, okay. Should have ripped it up. Yeah, yeah so I, I want to ask them... Who is, who is Vinlay? Where is Vinlay? Uh, Why is Vinlay? Why is Vinlay? <laughs> what is Vinlay? Where is Vinlay? That was the first question she asked. Vin Vinlay is a civil Where authority in, in Ardale. She took over for her father some time ago, <clears throat> and she uh, has taken to studying the effects of this mist uh, quite aptly. So you said we can't always get to Miss Keep. When can we get to Miss Keep? Vinlay will have that answer. No one else knows. It's it's hard to predict. She studies the skies. She knows when the conditions will be right. Uh, and you said this place used to be Lakewood. Why did it change? When did it change? Well, it's certainly no longer the Lakewood that everyone once knew. People knew it as a resort town. We wanted to change that understanding. Or oh, rebrand. Is what this happened? the place we did the one shot with yeah. the pirate yes. ship? Yeah. Ha ha! Ha ha! What happened? To what? To Those make it I not I don't think I was a vacation it. place. Again, Vinlay can tell you more, but my understanding is that yeah. because of the presence of the scar, when the mists were returned to this land, They were a bit more potent and more connected to the outer planes than they should be. Can you say that again? When the mists returned to this land... After the scar? After the scar was formed, the magics became more potent. Mm. Mm. Uh, the land is now more connected to the outer planes, more, more particularly uh, the ethereal plane that uh, enshrouds the material. I was level 10. Okay, Drizad, I got a plan. All of this prime real estate has been devalued. We buy it all up, and then we get rid of the mist. We... <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I think that I don't think you can smoke all of this odd. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <challenge tried>. accepted. <laughs> you know, I, the was just going to bring that up because we okay if we do that here we have to go back to Zealous and do that to them. They have the wrath to deal with. No, but the, the wrath yeah. is what's keeping them alive in a weird way. And we can figure that out. That is to fun to, to smoke then, too. Like... Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I'll, I will start climbing down the ship to. Yeah, to, yeah. I'll, yeah I'll your your detect magic is is able to complete in that time, uh, and you do see that there is like a mixture of uh, like extra planar uh, necrotic energy, um, and and just sort of uh, a transmutation divination combination. That's a fun way to say yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, but but it, it feels it just feels extra planar to you, like the like. Like he says, it is connected to the ethereal plane and, and by uh, association, the outer planes beyond. I want to look at my bottle of wrath. Is it acting funny being in this environment? Uh, Making our conscience. Just check. dancing. He's hitting it. Hello, like my a, honey. Is it like a flubber? <laughs> <laughs> <Is it> like- <laughs> when you try to show us and it stops. Bob <laughs> has made the very first vape. 19. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it appears to be as you uh, left it. It it swirls and moves on its own within the vial, but uh, doesn't appear to be reacting. It's not like a the- non Newtonian fluid that like <laughs> it's not flubber. No, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> acts all crazy it when it gets around other magic. Yeah. Flubber. Oh, what okay. a good movie! It's not. Um, <laughs> it's not a symbiote. Just- yeah. Okay. Well then, follow me. Yeah. Uh, as your new acquaintance guides you from your ship through the mist ahead, he makes steps that reflect reflect his uh, sweeping arm gestures as the far- fog parts in response. Occasionally, one of the amber lights is revealed as a small mote of light, uh, absent of any lantern, before twinkling briefly and drifting away. Uh, with one last gust of air from the palm of your chaperone, uh, it is revealed... Uh, an entrance is revealed to uh, an old elven structure made of a diminished marble that blends in with the atmosphere around it. Two large stone doors that are mismatched to the rest of the architecture bar your entry until the Air Genasi, uh breaks open a small subsection of the imposing <laughs> entryway, revealing a smaller hidden ingress. Beckons for you to... Sorry, I said mismatched. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Very nice. Um, what is it? In- in- uh, I like it. a doorway. Any yeah. any of those old, like, old elvish markings that we saw, like, underneath um, Imesford or even potentially Umbrick? I know Umbrick likely wouldn't exist out here, but seeing it that Dekarn's from here and Dekarn basically created Umbrick as we understand it. Make an investigation check. Dekarn was... Exiled from this keep, right? As far as no, we know. he was exiled from Imesford, which was pre Miskeep. W- which was yeah, and then those people left and presumably became Miskeep. Miskeep. Yeah, mm. you said what kind of check? Investigation. Uh, Sixteen. You see some elven writing upon the structures, um, but it doesn't appear to be the old elven. That old. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it it's. Old by Elven standards, even, but, but not, not that old. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. You all step in. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. D- don't sh- don't say interesting when you ask us if we. I mean, do he's about to take magic, saying, "Hey, don't do that." Out, yeah. <laughs> Is the staff bonking odd yet? Yeah. Your eyes adjust to the light within the cylindrical structure as you are greeted with a bombardment of echoed voices. In the crackle of torchlight within a large chamber adorned with offshooting tunnels and climbing stairways that lead to uh, secondary structures in an astonishing level of both complexity and beauty. Some eyes dart your way, but most people continue their work and wander, uh, continue wandering throughout the interior of this uh, bustling city life. Hmm. What would you like to do? City life inside of this tower? Mm-hmm. And it's not one of those bigger on the inside situations. Based on what you can see, it looks like a... a uh, <laughs> it's not a TARDIS. No. 
it looks it looks like a, uh, a a tall elven tower that is interconnected by these like makeshift tunnels to other towers. I'm imagining the oh, okay. Star Wars Disney World. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't know what I want to do. We need to go talk to this like, person. Or we need yes. to go find. Uh, uh, your your guide stands at the door. Um, her observatory is uh, right up the way there. You're not gonna take us there. No, it, I I stay guard on the outside. It's not many people that can quell the mists as I, as I do. Fair enough. Thank you for your help. Happy to oblige. Uh, I will keep an eye on your ship as well. I would have locked it. I know I didn't say it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Definitely would have locked it. <laughs> totally Walking fine. away, you like. Yeah. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Um, as you, uh, uh, as the door is closed behind you and you begin to look in the direction that he pointed towards one of the staircases, uh, leading upwards, yeah. uh, you see a number of people moving, uh, about, uh, to various stalls within the settlement. It looks almost like a, a refugee camp. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's definitely not, it wasn't built for this purpose. Um, what would you like to do? Um, we want to go talk to the light. I think we're going to make our way to the yeah. observatory. To Vinlay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you move towards uh, another set of spiral stairs that uh, uh, <laughs> reminds you eerily of the earlier uh, bit of the session, but these, these stairs ago. are much more solid, not nearly as old, uh, and actually quite uh, uh, elegant and, and, and beautiful. The edges are sharp, uh, the lines are clean. Um, and they, they show no signs of falling apart as you continue upwards. You eventually reach a uh, small trap door at the top of the stairway. It's closed. <laughs> you knock. No answer. Go open it, yeah. As you push against it, it feels barred or locked potentially. You have knock prepared. I do have. <laughs> I do have knock prepared. <laughs> well, ooh, maybe. I did the. I, is there a lock on the door? Uh, yeah, there is. I try the key first. <laughs> okay, uh, roll a D one hundred for me. Ooh, oh. the key doesn't like go away after you. Try That's to what use the D one hundred is. Yeah. I think. Yeah, <laughs> he just wants to make you seven. <laughs> Eighty three. Did we? What? You what did said we say? fifteen earlier. So it doesn't work. It just barely it barely like, doesn't work. You feel the lock beginning to turn. Um, oh, it's like it's like uh, the fallout where you're like, <laughs> you yeah. and it's about to break. I'm like, oh no! <laughs> and you pull the key out before. Yeah. It, before and I it turn. Snaps. I start beating my drum really fast, and it starts a, a key that is very similar to the one I have starts coming out, and it produces a little green like energy key that goes into the lock and unlocks it. Okay. Cast knock. Um, as you cast knock, uh, it aptly unlocks the, uh, the the small padlock that holds the trap door shut as the, the latch swings open. Um, you're free to enter. Do you, I'll go up. Do you, do you think we should be breaking and entering into... Valve is already like halfway this door, in behind Og. I'm like, no, I'm like I'm, I turn around, I'm like, the, this door was open. Um, Vinlay's place. Mm. <laughs> Wait. Zoth is going to stay down Bro. here. This door was open, Jazad. It's locked, and we're just going in. No, it was no, it's open. Unlocked. No, it's unlocked. No. It's unlocked. <laughs> roll, roll deception. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no problem. It's usually, it's locked. It's usually yeah. inside against deception, oh, right? Yeah. That's a that's a dirty twenty. Uh, he didn't bring it, but he pointed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Twenty six. No, get out. Of Swear here. to God, <laughs> it's a Did plus we, seven. You guys knocked and nobody answered. So I knocked again. and it opened. Okay. No, yeah. We knocked <laughs> and then knocked. I knocked and no one answered. Well, then I knocked. He cast the spell called knock no, yeah <laughs> no that i definitely heard the lock disengaged whenever you cast knock i am a cleric i know what spell casting looks okay. like i'm staying down here i'm you not breaking in knuckles, i'm yeah. not no there's not, there's not breaking and entering yeah i'm, I'm following on <laughs> i would be very okay. upset if you broke and entered into my fort edge they climb up you just hear drizzad keep going off <laughs> <to himself. laughs> i can't <laughs> silence down the hole <laughs> 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 he's just as you step into like over my shoulder, I'm like. As you step into what you believe is Vinlay's observatory, oh, you find a charming reprieve from the hazy atmosphere of the outside uh, and the bustling atmosphere below. A large, 
uh, metal cylindrical machine protrudes through the bi- uh, a bisecting slit in the top of an old el- elven tower, affording you a mesmerizing view of the night sky, the scar, and the other elven structures peeking out through the otherwise impenetrable mist. The room itself is quite large with a well-made bed, several half-empty bookshelves, and a large desk nearly shrouded in a pile of the missing books and papers. Collapsed atop the books is a sleeping uh, uh, elven woman. At least she appears to be sleeping. I'm (gasps) over valuables. Oh no, you're Pirate Vela? I'm Pirate Vela. Okay, make an investigation yeah. check. And I've been Pirate Vela for a few days. I see. What are you talking about, Pirate Vela? Each Whoa. now that you guys know, each one of my personas have like a like a negative to them. Yeah. And Pirate Vela no, like is a kleptomaniac. There's multiple personas of Vela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How the fuck am I? Well, you asked me about the pirate! We just asked you about the pirate! We rolled! We rolled played all of them! I channel, yeah, channel their personalities <laughs> into me! <laughs> you said investigation? There's an artificer Vela. Investigation. There's an artificer Vela. It's a dirty 20. Yeah. There's a pirate Vela. There's an artificer. Yeah, I picked up on this whenever we were on the There's a paladin Vela. No, like I thought. I knew that you let your hair down. I thought you were just like reminiscing. This is a this is a 10. What the fuck? Oh my god. I it's a one. So every morning when you wake up. Okay. You pick yeah, or yeah. I could st- stay the same. And the way I've been playing it, the longer I stay, the the harder it is to resist. The and it's been like three days How of travel on the ship. Knew this and didn't share none of this information with me. I just picked up on it. I just it was like, <laughs> the pirate one's the easiest one to talk because I like he's I, klepto and I yeah. I am the pirate most often. It was like, I noticed, it was like I noticing the shit. grass gets caught every gets yeah. cut every Monday. And one day my brain was just like, oh okay, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> I'm messaging. I guess I'm just a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Mel, Mel like this. sees the woman yeah. and then immediately turns in a different direction, starts digging through her shit. I'm me- I message, I message you, and I say, I say, hey Valo, when you become your other personalities, do you have different names? Yeah, they're all called Valoth. Some of them have nicknames. All of them. What's this one called? Because I've seen this one before. <sighs> I actually believe it or not. Oh, <laughs> I no, I believe Wait, so them. does each guy have a notebook? No, no, no. They're, They're all, all in this in notebook. Um, <laughs> the, this one was known as Captain Valoff. Captain Valoff. Or Captain I, Val by some I'm, I'm going to call you Cap. It's fair. Yeah. Did you actually cast silence on me? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what do I get with a one on my D10? Uh, uh, you actually, as you begin to uh, look through some of the piles of loose papers and books, <laughs> some of the bookshelves missing various components, you see a lot of uh, uh, literature uh, dedicated to astrology and astronomy. Mm-hmm. Um, and you don't see anything of particular value, but out of the corner of your eye, you spy... on. Uh, Within the pile of books that the elf is sleeping on, uh, a spell scroll, and you make your way over and oh you no. pull the spell scroll out, and you have a scroll of catapult. You also said appears to be sleeping. Is she dead? Okay, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'm I'll sorry. check her out. Can we just real quick? <laughs> 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 so I have, I have a scroll of catapult before that. You okay, did. Okay. <laughs> Because I asked you a lot of questions. Catapult. You did. Catapult her. And you told me yeah. that you. <laughs> you told me that you can see other realities. Right. Yeah. She didn't tell me you bring those realities here. I don't. Well, I said I tap into himself. their energy. I said that. I said when yeah. they die, their energy gets released, and then I tap we're into that. Watch, we're we're going to go watch a movie that. after this. That jet leaves in. And I didn't gonna, mean to be like, vague. Everything's gonna make sense. <laughs> I, now, for once, for once, I did not mean to be vague. So if okay. I did mislead you, it was not on purpose. It was just me trying to put I flavor into this. No, you said that. I tap into them. Yeah. I heard you say. I said I peer, Sometimes I have. I see vision, visions of worlds ending, and sometimes when I see those visions, there's a version of me that's part of it, near right. it, somehow around it. And when they die, when their worlds end, I can tap into their energy. I missed that. Yeah. I missed that part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You said that? I did. Yeah. <laughs> we all got it. Look, my ADHD is real oh, bad you're fine. tonight. You're fine. Uh, I didn't get that. So, okay. 
So you want to you want to check to see if this elf? I'm is, trying to see if this woman's alive. Make a medicine because check. Right, real life. Flora is not as flabbergasted as Morgan is. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan ain't got no fucking idea what's happening. Medicine. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. Uh, as you begin to check her vitals, she's definitely alive. She's, definitely she's just dead. sleeping really heavily. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Wow. Um, That's very good. Did very I good. see you steal something? Were you trying to be sneaky? Not from you guys. Oh. I was talking to Odd while I was looking through her shit. <laughs> we were messaging that. Yeah. Ah! Oh, wait, who? Wait. Are, are you been like? As I'm putting my backpack back on. We were sent here by <laughs> Leviathan. How'd you get in here? Uh, the door was open. Lear make roll. a make a persuasion or deception check. With advantage, because she's all stunned. No, <laughs> no. You probably don't need it. I don't need it, because I rolled a 19 on the <laughs> dice. <laughs> plus, plus 8, 27. Her eyes sort of dart away from you. I could have sworn I locked that. Well, what brought you here to me? Um, We're trying to get to Miskeep, and Leviathan told us that we need to talk to you. Totally messed this guy's name right. right now, so. uh, she moves over, begins shuffling across a few papers. Oh, you just, you did just miss a big window. Oh. One, one second. And she like moves over to the, the cylindrical structure, a telescope. A telescope, yeah. As she uh, begins to peer down into it, you, s you see her crank a gear at the side as it begins to... What's that? Uh, this is a... Uh, a telescope. It allows me to see into the skies and predict when uh, Miss Keep will be available for you next. What time is it right now? It's oh IRL. Yeah. No. Uh, no, no. 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 <laughs> what time is it right now? Did we like wake her up in, wake the, middle her up of the, night? in the middle of the night? Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's definitely not time. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's not like super late, but it's you know the sun has been down for at least a couple hours. Yeah. Good. Oh, she's going to hate us. Uh, based on the position, the moon, the scar, and, and, and where the scar is, I, I think you'll have a window uh, tomorrow. Oh. Uh, but but the, that window will be about, about an hour. But the problem is that there's, there's not going to be much of a window after that for for about oh three weeks so we can't ish. get back well that's that's kind of the is the no window told, both ways we don't know anything about miskeep except oh. where it is and it's storied history well i'd be i'd be happy to uh to tell you more about it where do i where do i start well i guess i guess Would the you most rather us come back maybe in the morning no, 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 no. Now's now's best. I'm I'm awake, and and the nightmares are terrible anyway. Oh, uh, that just comes from being here. Uh, the thing about Mist Keep is that it, it's it's always been very close to the ethereal plane, and as as such, uh, dreams, imaginations, imaginings they're they're very vivid, sometimes real. Uh, in, in more recent years, decades even, it's a place that's actually been moved into the ethereal plane and, and can only be reached when uh, our planes are that closely connected. Uh, I figured out that based on uh, what light is available, uh, the scar actually allows you to uh, uh, be closer to the ethereal plane and, and draws mist keep out from that plane. The plane sort of touch. Imagine she picks up two sheets of paper and begins to flap them about. Imagine uh, this is this is the material here and, and this is the ethereal. It's, it's always there. We just can't see it. And then sometimes, depending on the weather, she's kind of shaking them and like they touch. Uh, they they overlap and you can uh you can get there then the real danger is is, is twofold well maybe three 
So no, no, it's two. So miskeep is the ethereal plane. Well, mi- it, miskeep exists in the ethereal plane. It's, mm. it's not all of it. Mm. So are there like living people there? Yeah, it's it can be hard to live there if you're not from there. Uh, like I said, imaginings tend to, to just sort of take shape and, and become real. So is it hard to get back out? Uh, most of the time, yes. Uh, so the, the danger, as I say, is twofold. One, uh, the danger of going there and not being accustomed to it and, and either either uh, bringing danger upon yourself in the ethereal plane or uh, ending up somewhere you, you don't mean to be. Uh, the, the second part of it really is, is just getting, getting back. Uh, sometimes these, these, these overlaps don't happen for months. Well, we may not need to go there if you, do you know a lot about the history of Miskeep? I, I know recent history. I'm, I'm pretty young. Do you have to, so you, do you know of Elwind and his, his time there? It's a court wizard and, and... He's originally Innocent, from Mistkeep. Right? Oh, is he? I didn't. I didn't. I well, he's dead aware. now. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sorry for your loss. Yeah. That's... <laughs> you hear coming from up the ladder. Ah, uh, did you cast a silence spell on me? <laughs> <laughs> I dropped silence. No. <laughs> he has. He has a way of coming back, though. So he might not be. Uh, he's lived a very long time. That's why I was curious if you knew of him. But we're actually going to learn more about um, his connection to to there. He... Oh, are you talking about Elwyn and Mistkeep? Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> and he, silence. You he shouldn't hear our conversation <laughs> either. <laughs> you should know that the, the third danger I almost mentioned is, is that the, the people that live there, they're... Uh, they're weary to outsiders. They're pretty weary to outsiders. But Good. if you're asking about one of their own, I'm sure they at least share their knowledge with you. What that is like the people of Zelda? Well, they, well, they like, exiled him, so I like lost interest in this, and I'm playing with her telescope. Be, like, care, be careful! I'm looking with, in, and I'm that. like cranking. He's actually in. surprisingly really good with machinery. And as <laughs> as you get as you get like a better look at uh, uh, Vinlay, you see that she's she obviously was just woken up, but even beyond that, she almost seems like chronically tired. Uh, she has short, bobbed brown hair that has uh, flyaways uh, just in every direction, mm-hmm. almost like she's been stocked by, shocked by static electricity. Is her hair red? Um, no, it's oh. brown. Um, so sort of like red. <laughs> but not. But her, uh, her blue eyes sit really deep into her brow, and although she carries herself with like a bit of aged wisdom, she seems very well learned. Uh, Valoth especially you would recognize, uh, and I guess Flora too, uh, that she's quite young for an elf. So have you been to Mesquite? Uh Once. I, I went. Didn't mean to. It's kind of what spurred all this on. I wanted to learn more about it. How was your time there? Uh, confusing. Disorienting. <clears throat> scary. I've been, I've been sort of working up the courage to go again. That's why I've been trying to make sure I understand exactly when the uh, the crossings take place. Sounds a little bit like the Feywild. When, we'd love to have a guide as well of someone who's been there before. You would come with us. I am I am quite familiar with the Feywild. I'm afraid there? I'm still needed here. But okay. I appreciate the offer. Are there any similarities between the two? I'm not extremely familiar with the Feywild, but my study suggests that yeah, they're they're kind of similar. Uh, the Feywild overlaps the material, and in the same way, the ethereal sort of enshrouds it. Uh, sort of like different tiers on it on the same cake. Hmm. Maybe my knowledge of the Feywild may prove to be useful. Take the, it would definitely be, yeah. be beneficial. I do know you can get to the magic. Feywild through the ethereal plane. You can get to the Feywild from many planes. Also, also probably true. Um, but yes, y- you'll you'll have a crossing tomorrow uh, evening uh, in the later hours when when the moon and the sun are gone. 
uh, I believe you'll you'll have about an hour to to get there. Uh, if my calculations are right, you you could even try to go tonight, uh, but it'd be a stretch. I'm not sure exactly how how go, long that that bridge will hold. If we go tonight, then we have a chance of returning tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. But if we go tomorrow, you said we, we may have three weeks. Yeah, it seems that way. How do you come back? How do you get out? Oh, you just walk. It's uh, I say we at that time that they they just become the same. Um, it comes back to this plane. Yeah. Yeah. So you said we may be able to go now. Uh, well, not now. In in a couple hours, and I think it'll be. Would we just walk, or could we take our ship? What do we do? Or... Well, you just go there as you normally would. If you have a ship, you can use that. I think it's as if like the city is like legitimately just like physically reappearing mm-hmm. in the real world. Okay. So, when was the before potentially tonight? When was the last time someone could have gotten to Mist Keep? Well, we've we've had a lot of travelers come through, uh, aiming to go. Most of them in search of others that went. Uh, it, elves. Uh, we've had some elves, sure. When was the last time? Uh, last time would have been maybe maybe a few weeks ago, not long. Do you know? If it is possible to teleport into Mist Keep without it being on this plane. If you have a way to get to the ethereal plane, it's... You would need something powerful like banishment. Something of those kind of magics. Uh, not a normal teleport I'm, get you there. I'm not a magician or a wizard or a sorcerer or any of those things, but uh, I, I know when Mist Keep is here. And uh, I think it'll show up briefly tonight, maybe. It, it depends on, on a, a lot of factors. And it'll be a weak connection, but you might be able to make it through. I think we should try tonight then. And then that way, if we can't get there tonight, we know we can get there tomorrow. Yep. If we can get there tonight, we so know we can, we get, back know we can get back tomorrow. tomorrow. Instead of three weeks from tomorrow. Yeah. Can you show us or tell us the specific times? Um... Sure. It, how do you, well, how do you how do you plan to get there so fast? <clears throat> we have a flying we ship. We have a flying ship. What's well, still about a day's travel from here? Is it? Yeah. How far does the boost get us, Valo? <laughs> we can basically far. dash for an hour, but we lose a day of travel. So we would essentially have an hour of dash. Oh, never mind. Uh, I, don't I, don't think, I don't think that would there. get us there. In, in time. Yeah, I think I it's only think. double movement. I don't think it's anything special. Have it right, Alex. If we dashed and used all of our resources, we couldn't get there. Just just dash. No, yeah. yeah. So we have to get there. We tomorrow. have to go tomorrow. Looks like we're going on a trip yep. for a long time. In that case, you'll you'll need to move swiftly. I hate for you to get stuck there. The longer you stay, the more dangerous it might tend to get. I've, even some people that have come back, their minds were uh, warped by by what they what they witnessed. Mm. Oh, good. So one, <laughs> one group came back uh, with a with a uh, halfling fella. Uh, what didn't didn't look too good. What was his name? I don't remember his name. Did it start with a B? What are you talking no, about? No, maybe. Not that halfling. Uh. It was a while ago. Like I said, a lot of people go there looking for others, and the problem just sort of compounds itself. People get lost. Those the do loved ones. Sell, those people tend to go. Do they sell metal hats around here? Uh, you might be able to find uh, some pots and pans. I take the maybe some armor. Take the you hat. Looking, I take you the, have armor. I take I the hat out. Oh, this hat. Like this. I think actually you might have it. What? The hat. Uh, the hat. Uh, yeah. I, I've seen something like that before. I don't think it helps. <laughs> mm. Well, we best um, get back to our ship then. All right. So we have to go tomorrow. We have to. We have to leave now so we can get there for tomorrow, tomorrow night. 
We can't do shopping. Oh. Yeah. I'm so confused. What? What is that correct? It, no, it's no, 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 a, it's a day's tra travel no, from here. Yeah. Okay. Well, the the timing of it, uh, like I said, late into the evening tomorrow is, is when you'll have your best shot. Uh, she begins looking around for some papers and begins like scribbling the, the uh, path of the moon uh, and the sun, uh, plotting it uh, uh, in reference to the scar. Uh, and as she looks around you, she looks to you I feel like you'd, you'd understand this. And you sure you don't want to come with us? Oh, I'm positive. Uh, if I wasn't here, nobody would know how to get there. And so if someone came looking for you uh, after you disappeared for a few oh, weeks... Uh, people who are coming you, looking you, for us, we don't want them to find us. Can you also no one's mark... looking for us. That's, that's rare. Can you that's also rare. mark on there the time window we have to get back? Oh well, I mean, basically, it, it's it's like a, a drawbridge. It's it's open for an hour. Right, but you said th the next time is going to be like if three we miss weeks. that hour. Oh, uh, sure. I, well, that's harder to chart because it's further out, but um, I can probably at least estimate the day. Okay. Uh, and she be, takes the paper back and kind of scribbles another chart on the back. It's a little more rough uh, and hard to read, but. She kind of shrugs and, and hands it back to you. Okay. If uh, if you do need to stock up, uh, feel free to, to use my name at any of the stalls downstairs. They they may see fit to give you a discount. Oh, so we do have no, time to do some going. shopping before we leave. I, I don't know how fast you can get there, but uh, it it's later into the evening than it is now. So you, you'd have... Uh, Okay. It's about a day's travel to get there and and, and some change. And if you're if you're going on foot, that is. Yeah, the ship's had some time to cool, so we might we'd probably get further, do a little bit of dashing yeah. if we need to. Yeah, so we can do some shopping offline. Sure. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna get back to to charting. Thanks um, for letting us wake you up and. So you might want to lock that. Yeah, you gotta lock your door. I'll, I'll make sure to lock. If it you're this falling time. asleep, I, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your concern. I'll I'll, uh, I'll make sure to lock it behind you. Yeah, you know, and it, um, a magical lock may be more beneficial. You know, I'm I don't I don't know magic. She's not a wizard. Oh, said so she herself. said that. Well, somebody could do God, it for her. It doesn't Listen, have to be her. You, yeah. <laughs> 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 this this side table has fun, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I hope you all make it safely and, and make it back in one piece. Just uh, just try to keep in mind that you know your your thoughts have real power there, uh, and don't lose track of time. Okay. I'd love to see you all return safely. We would too. Okay. And she kind of uh, ushers you all towards the trap door as you begin to descend. Uh, she latches it closed <clears throat> behind you. You hear a very distinct thunk <laughs> lock uh yeah. as she actually latches it back um you hear footsteps as she walks off and you look down from your perch into the uh the crowd of, of people uh accumulating around stalls uh speaking with uh others uh trading stories wares and the like and as you all prepare for your journey into mist keep a journey that is much more arduous than you'd anticipated that is where we will end our session for nice. today. Thank you all for Woo. joining us for episode 32 of our campaign. If you're interested in what has happened up to this point, it has been a wild ride. Uh, but we have all of our episodes up here on YouTube and a new recap video that works with the other two. And it'll get you caught up all the way to episode 31 in a matter of minutes. So uh, if you want to check that out, the links are in the description below. Do also make sure to check out our sponsor, Tabletop Beard at their uh, link in the description below and use code chaos20 at checkout for some amazing beard products for yourself uh, And finally congrats again to Justinian for uh, your uh, potion of luck from our friends at uh, uh, pen and paper online uh, We are uh, we are gonna be doing a couple more giveaways in the coming weeks So don't miss those and until next time go out there and make some chaos Bye, Bye. Bye.